Welcome back to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest <laughs> Atari games. And tonight, we're going to be playing Atari 2600 games. Actually, let me plug in the lights. Oh. The lights are... Yay. There they are. Yay! Still wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot He's to take them off. He's been sleeping in them for the last two Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to take them off. Oh my goodness, let's get these off. Yeah. Just been sleeping in them. <laughs> Haven't recovered yet. Nope. Oh. So today we're going to be playing, uh, first of all, we're going to be going over PRGE and what happened there. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. I'm going to move the microphone down just a okay. little bit. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. I'll probably hit my head on it at some point. Oh, probably. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Um, and we're also going to be playing five Atari 2600 wow. games, Pantheon 2, okay. an exclusive world premiere. Okay. Invaders from Andromeda, another exclusive world premiere. Wow. Uh, Steps, a uh, numbers game, and Save the Dinos by wow. Carl G, who wow. I think is in the chat. Somewhere. Excellent. Uh, a lot of people in the chat, a lot of names I recognize, and have now met in person. Yes, yes. Uh, what a th Before we get into it, I want to yeah. thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling gently beside Tanya. <laughs> Aldefer, Arkham H, Atari 800, XL, Rose Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari Patch, Quest, BR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Carl's Madruga, Charles Sedani Mao, Charles Willen, Sheet Gamer, El Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan C, Drexel, Dr. Mukaz, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Zero Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer, JRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Andis, Mark Space Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike, Mike Flatow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Packer, VG Carl Hogg, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Pentless V, Rod Castler, Smitty B, Spicer, S. Ramirez, The Welsh Man, T. Dan K, T. Foes, Track MD, and 2600. And if your name is supposed to be on that list and is not on that list, you can do what <laughs> Charles Wheeland and Atari 800 <laughs> XL Rules did just before the show yes. and resubscribe. Yes. Thank you to both of those two people yes so, so did you have fun i did PRG i had a lot of fun oh, as exhausting as it was it was a lot of fun <laughs> it was a lot of fun yeah. um we went there and we did pretty much nothing but interviews <laughs> <laughs> literally yeah. we went we to no talks we yeah i didn't we, even get to go into the museum part we didn't too. see the museum it we didn't was see just, the exhibits and we had such a short um, time there too unfortunately we were there early in the week but we had to leave on sunday morning yes yeah, so, and we even crammed in a little bit of time on sunday morning because because you had more <sighs> interviews to do so yeah so total we did 14 interviews oh, 14 and really? they're all about a half an hour each wow yeah. 10 minutes to half an hour depending yeah. yeah uh it was a lot of interviews with developers yeah. distributors yeah. and some other people <laughs> um mm -hmm. so and um we didn't get them all done on saturday which we're yes. trying to get them all done on saturday because mm -hmm. we had a concert on sunday night so we're like okay we'll just do them all on saturday yeah leave early on sunday morning but as it wore on into saturday mm -hmm. we actually got kicked like physically kicked not physically kicked out but kicked but out out the pushed door. out yeah. um as everything was winding down they're like you gotta leave everybody's gotta go because yeah. <laughs> we gotta secure the showroom floor mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so we're like well we have like four or five more interviews to do so we're like okay calculations yeah. <laughs> driving speed arrival time yeah. back in vancouver like okay we if we get in early enough we can do the interviews and we finished off the interviews the next day yeah Oh, still miss some people, yeah. but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. but uh, we got so many interviews. Yeah. Um, they're currently finished. Be uh, they're finished color corrected. I, I did the color oh. correcting today. Oh, wow, um, that's awesome. So they'll look good now. Yeah. Now I have to do audio um, tomorrow, and I should start being releasing them tomorrow. Oh, I nice. think. Okay, good. I don't know if I'll get one done tonight, but. Um, yeah, you don't. You can't. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. More like go into the arcade area. <laughs> yeah. Um. So let's uh take a look at. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you still has the cough? I still have a cough. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just I can't. It's 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 like don't I don't even it. feel sick, but it's one of those coughs. It's it's taking a long time well, to shake off. Cat, but, did you uh, bump the camera? Oh no! It's all askew. What happened? That's uh, gonna be annoying. <laughs> Well, I have to reset it up, right? True. Uh, that's pretty even. Blame the cat. Oh, it's always easiest to blame the cat. 
blame the cats for everything. So, questions in the chat. Yes. Yes. Well, a great some meeting, of, everyone who's saying great meeting, you guys. Great meeting, some you, of them Steve. Some will be answered in my uh, yeah. Notes, um. But. Where are we? A lot of people saying, yeah, I never saw the museum, never got to check out the arcade section, ivory tower collections. There a lot of people got sucked into other things. Uh, who fed the cats while you were at PRG? Oh, we had some friends stay over yes, at our house. Yes, we did, which instead is always of, nice. Instead of sending them to cat jail, yes, we were rescued by some friends and yes. they stayed over. Yeah. And the cats haven't complained yet about the care that they got. No, so no, they I seem think, very satisfied. I think, uh, so I think, I think they did well. a good job. Yep. Um... The shop exhibition area, the, the showroom floor is open on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And the arcade opens on Friday. Yeah. And what did we do Friday that we, we couldn't even go to the arcade? No, we went to the arcade on Friday. We, we wandered one through. Game. We played one game because it was packed. <laughs> but then we like ran into people and we're chatting. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens, which is fine. It was very cool. Pizza happened, yes. Um, <laughs> that's right. We uh, did have pizza on Friday. Yes. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we just think. met up with people and went for pizza and it... Like we go there to meet the people and talk well, with yeah. the people, and yeah. I mean that's it's like a meeting place of the whole world. <laughs> the whole community comes in there. Yeah. So it was like, well, we could either you know talk with people or play video games. And yeah. Like, we play video games all the time, yeah. so let's yeah. talk with people. But it was also very busy. We were there in the late afternoon, and, and you would have to wait to get onto a machine. Yeah, it was quite so busy this year. So it was already year. so busy. Yeah, uh, that was unfortunate. But uh, so we got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, this. It's Bernie. You may recognize this. This is a Bernie. Uh, Lewis Hill made this. Um, uh, gave us this amazing gift. Uh, yeah. uh, knitted Bernie. Uh, uh, crocheted. Crocheted Bernie. <laughs> crocheted Bernie. Uh, from uh, Mrs. Aww. Muddy Funster. Mrs. Muddy Funster. <laughs> for his thank upcoming you. game, uh, Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum. Aww. So thank you so much, Lewis. Yeah. Uh, let me show it close up. Yeah. So and and to be clear, uh, uh, Sprite already has an interest in it, so it's going to go on a shelf. <laughs> Sprite's like, ooh, cat toy. <laughs> There's Bernie. Yeah. So Bernie's going to live up here yes. for now. Yes. If he can. Come on, snuggle. There he goes. There he goes. That's very cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very, very nice present. Yeah. Um, got some buttons from Machine. Yes. Uh, these are reproduction buttons that uh, were put out in, it looks like the 70s. Yeah. Uh, which are now very expensive, but these are reproduction buttons They're that very cool. uh, he gave us. Check them out. They are really nice. Uh, I don't think I don't think Bernie is wired. Is Bernie wired? No, uh, he's, no. We, but he's, he's, he's soft. He does stay where he's put for the most part. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, so thank you so much, Machine. These are really nice buttons. Really I don't nice know if buttons. he's still offering them, but just check them out on the Atari H forums if you want patches and buttons, because he's the guy who made all the uh, Activision patches oh, yes, yeah. that never existed. Yes, yes. So I, I, I believe when we're talking to him, he said he has now completed every single Activision patch that never, never existed. Never existed. Yeah, oh. so he's filled in all the, pla all the blanks really cool. for that. That's really cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you to Daryl Genther for upgrading my Dragonfly cart oh, to the yes. latest firmware for uh, on the CPLD. Yeah. Um, I he had a, a Dragonfly upgrading party, <laughs> mm. uh, flash party. Um, yeah. So now it's upgraded to the latest and greatest firmware. Excellent. So thank you so much. Does that Darryl. help play certain games then? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. It uh, it gets it to the next level and and fixes some issues. Some bugs. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but it uh, it, it gets it to gets that. It fixed. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Anyone have a Jaguar they want to sell? Uh, there I, I, there was some Jaguars there, but they're very expensive now. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, it's required for the new Poke version of 1942. There we go. There ITC knows all the info. There we go. Um, I bought one thing. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. One piece of Other tech. than the t-shirts, which we'll get into yeah. in a second. But, uh... um, because I didn't have much time. And like I think I've said before, everything on my list is either super rare yeah. or super expensive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so all I, bought, all I found was this uh, S-Video switcher. Um, which uh, seems pretty cool. It's nice and flat. It's very wide. I don't know if I'll put it there. Yeah, because that's the one nice. I have is very small. 
Yeah. Um, but it is very nice, and it'll be good for like um, upstairs, maybe upstairs yeah. for when we have um, video retro gaming night and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's got a whole bunch of RCAs. So you can use six RCAs for each input. That's nice. So audio and and component if you need it. Looks like it has like RJ 11s or RJ 45s. I'm not sure. Yeah, can't really see how many and mechanical buttons. Pins. Yeah, so it's... and then labels. I mean, there's some labels there, but you could probably swap them out if you wanted. Yeah, to, this is not going to be Xbox. You could probably DVD. just pull those off. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's really cool. Meant to be interchangeable. Yeah. Um, the t-shirts were pretty good this year for yes. Um, the P PRG. So Tanya they got this one. Yeah, there were two t-shirts because it was a sort of Miss Pac-Man theme. So there was a Pac-Man and a Miss Pac-Man. The Pac-Man had this beautiful pink stole on, but um, <laughs> I I, I kind of like the Pac-Man eating what looked to be blackberries. Oh yeah, that's odd. Um, <laughs> I don't remember blackberries i don't here. either but it's pretty funny yep. or maybe it's something else he's eating i'm not sure yeah um but i thought that was really cute and it has you know the portland oregon logo and all yeah. that so i picked that up for myself yeah and very then, nice shirt which and i guess technically i bought all the shirts and of course yeah technically yeah and this tie-dye beautiful asteroids yeah. t-shirt there was a woman who had a t-shirt like had a section with was just t-shirts and she had them all ordered by size yeah and we were flipping through them and this was i think the only one but it's actually fully tie-dyed oh my god it's with the beautiful. asteroids and i just because it's on the whole like it actually runs the whole shirt yeah. both of us just went oh, all the way I to the back to that. Yeah, yeah 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 and uh tanya also got this the gorf, gorf arcade, arcade shirt. <laughs> yeah 2022 champ, champ games. games very yeah. nice shirt yeah uh, they also had um a generic champ games shirt there as well yeah. If you yeah. want to represent all the games yeah. from Champ. Um, and Jesse uh, slash crossbow slash uh, Ivory Tower Collections yeah. was uh, very generous and upgraded my Intellivision yeah. to the newest, uh, latest and greatest uh, RGB mod from Crayon King. Nice. Um, here's the old one. Wow. And and he said, oh, just bring your Intellivision. Uh, the wiring's very similar. Okay. I can just Take out the old mod, and put in the new plop, mod, plop in the new one. and it should give you much better uh, awesome. output, video output. Mm -hmm. So um, I have had zero time to even test it yet. So he put it in blind, which is which is amazing, and wow. was was did not you, able to did test, you test it. Did you test it? Not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> I've had no time. <laughs> well, let the Ivory Tower Collections I, have I that. Trust, no I things. trust in him. Oh, I do too. He has modded hundreds <laughs> of games, but uh, yeah. He's like, test it, please yes. test it. I, I will get to it. So thank you so much for, yeah. for doing that. Oh, S. Ramirez got the generic Champ Game shirt too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're very, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah. The Atari Age booth had eight player room I running. I saw that. Yes. I with saw tons that. of paddles, right? Yeah. It was very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Atari Age booth. We helped yeah. set up the Atari Age booth on the Thursday. Thursday, we were there to. Yeah, we helped with a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's actually show some pictures nice. of that. Oh, let's see. Let's go to the pictures. I posted these in the um, Atari Age forums, and that's what we're going to show right now. Uh, there we are. Excellent. It's oh, a little off. Let me just expand that out. There we go. There we go. So, uh, so we helped set up the Atari Age booth on the Thursday. Mm -hmm. All the monitors, the the posters, the uh, consoles. So there's Tanya standing beside all the new releases yeah, for PRGE. Yeah, what a great poster. <laughs> uh, Twenty five games pictured there. Nice. Let me get back up the chat. Uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of like the complete rundown of the games that are being released yes. and all the individual games that yeah. are being released. I was, we both helped to set up those big uh, poster stands, so that was fun. Yeah. Oh, Al's posters are awesome. Oh, they're so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really, really detailed, especially, yeah. and they're blown up that big, you can, you can really see the detail in, in the artwork. Uh, there's just a small portion of the boxes. <laughs> there were a lot of boxes. That, uh, that he brought, and then some of the monitors. Mm. They're just i remember how many 
That's game impressive. systems that was like 40 monitors, oh, 42 or something. Lot. Yeah. Pallets of 1702 Commodore yes. monitors. Yeah. Just, just stat, you can see stacks of them. Yes. Uh, and then the consoles that were <laughs> Unpacking. Ca carefully wrapped in blue Atari age bubble wrap yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Several rows of 1702s. Yeah. Um, uh, there you can see some of them. Getting it uh, set there's up. the rows of monitors. There's another row and another row behind that. It's yeah. one stacked on top of another one for some reason. Um, there's another shot that you can see. Yeah, of, uh, slowly getting it all set up. So I think those back two rows were all 2600s. Yes. And then there were 7800s and 5200s and 8 bit machines as well around that corner. And uh, there was a, a box brought mm. by Crossbow, and uh, there was a present for Al mm -hmm. from uh, Crossbow and Pac-Man Plus, and Al is very excited to open it. <laughs> and there he is opening it. Uh, Crossbow myself filmed that, yeah. and that video will be out shortly as well. Yeah. Uh, and it was a custom-made Atari 7800. Which is very, very, very cool. Uh, 3D printed, and the board was modified was by Crossbow. Really nice. Uh, for awesome output, and with the custom new ROM chip in it that includes, um, starts with a P, Parsec. Okay. Built into the ROM. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, it's right so Kiloparsec. nice. Sorry, not parsec. Kiloparsec. Whenever I see stuff like this, it makes me want a 3D printer. I, mean, I so know. I'm like, oh, yeah, you have the to have stuff a you can make. fairly sizable one to do that one. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's pretty big. Um, yeah. So that's that's some of the photos. Uh, we're going to show you some more here mm -hmm. of all the people that I uh, interviewed and met at PRGE. Let's go to that view. There we go. There's Andrew Pauly, Armscar Coder, uh, interviewing him yeah. about Raptor. Oh, come what's, on. What's with the... Uh... So I know all their names. So oh, I have to the memorize locations. All of them. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I thought that was accidental. VR Pocock and Zephyr uh, talking about Grizzards. As you can see the camera set up. Yeah. Uh, Chris Spry, Spry, po Spry Bog, uh, talking to him about... Oh my God. What's the name of it again? It's the Mega Man uh, kind of tribute port. There's Chris Walton, CD W, uh, standing in front of Zevius over there. Nice. And boom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Genther, um, talking about Popeye, his new release. Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid. There's a group shot. Yeah. Of a whole bunch of awesome dudes yep. and S. Ramirez, S. Ramirez included in the awesome dudes. Lewis and uh, Matt Smith yeah, as well. Daryl, uh, John Shampo. John Shampo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, me talking to Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster, and the winner of the last oh, yeah. ZPH cartridge was Mike Latow, who's yes. in the chat, I believe. I saw his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he answered all three questions correctly over and above nice. what he needed to. <laughs> uh, so the questions were, is our cat Atari left or right-handed? <laughs> and he guessed correctly that you are left-handed. Yes. Uh, and number two, what did we dress up as on the uh, 2021 Halloween show? Mm -hmm. We dressed up as Pixel and Atari. And he knew which which of which we were. And Very why good. we dressed up <laughs> as them <laughs> yes, as well. Yes. Because our costumes were ready. He knew everything. <laughs> he says he watches every show. That's awesome. Um, and what discovery, uh, question number three, what discovery slash bug did Tanya find in Bruce Lee Return of Fury Which on the Atari 8-bit yeah. recently while playing? It was Yamo on the moon. Yamo on the moon. Tanya was able to get Yamo up to the moon. <laughs> it was and awesome. The developer left it in because it was so, so much, <laughs> such a fun bug. It's a really good bug. Yep, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's David Marley, a developer of Mr. Yo-Yo. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the shot at Ground Control, mm -hmm. uh, which we went to uh, on Saturday night. Saturday so night. There was a gathering there. A whole bunch of people were there, all yep. playing games. We're crossing paths and talking to each other. And yep. uh, I was playing pinball very poorly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very Same. poorly that night Same. for some reason. Yep, yep. Uh, there's John Champo of Champ Games. Uh, Brian Hall and Andrew Mayer of Argon, the emulator for all the Atari games. Yep. 
uh, Ryan Whitmer from Phaser Cat Games talking about him, to him about Robin Banks, his new release. Uh, there's a Young Jin Park. Nice. A lot of people came up to us, but uh, they took photos on their phones. I'm oh, hoping nice. they post them. Yes. Because I haven't gathered them all yet. Yeah, Hopefully nice. I run across them on the Atari Age forums and stuff like that. Yeah. So there are all the photos that I've collected so far. So uh, lots of fun. As you can tell, lots of interviews. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <sighs> so let's see what else. What other notes <coughs> I have. Yeah. Um, no, Darcy and Erlen couldn't couldn't come, but uh, no, Darcy the was watching the it. cats. Darcy was Actually. watching the cats. <laughs> he was our cat sitter. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we, like I said, we did. Did I say fourteen interviews? Yeah. Fourteen. It's gonna take a bit to get them all going and up, um, but I'm pretty much gonna leave them all intact because they they yeah. went pretty well. There's yeah. a couple a couple jumps I'll have to make here and there, That's but okay. um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun yeah. interviewing all the developers, and it was such a great opportunity because yeah. everybody from all over the world came in. Yeah, there to, were a lot of people. To this PRGE because it hasn't happened it's... for three years. They missed two mm -hmm. two events, um, so, so, so many people were excited for this one, and so many people came in for, for it. Yeah. Uh, I bet Darcy did. He didn't say whether he did, but I bet he did. Oh, he 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 would have he would have given in to the little meowing black cat. For Kefman sure. 2D says, "How long of a drive for uh, for ZPH to Portland? It was about five and a half to six hours, depending on traffic." Yeah. Um, and then you add the border wait, which, which actually coming was... back was five minutes. That's the fastest That's ever. Un un just very unusual. Very unusual. Oh, yeah. cat treats. Oh, cats are going crazy. <laughs> Who gave them the cat treats? Vitoko! Yay, thank you, Vitoko! Whoever, when we're talking to people <laughs> at PRGE, they're, they're all talking about saving up their bits for the cats. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure he did his own little reenactment. Oh, did it with his left hand. Who did? Atari. Atari? Did yeah, you, he's left-handed. Did you hit one? No. Hit, hit it. it. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> he, he's staring at Come me. On. Do this one. It'll work better. There Good we go. kitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't hear the voice announcement. I don't know. I don't know. At least the, the ding worked, which is something. At least the ding worked. Yeah. Um, last time it didn't work. Last couple times didn't work because it was like waiting to be updated. And mm -hmm. it just sat on the update screen. But uh, this time it act, it did it again. It's like, oh, you want to update? So it might have messed up the voice. So I'll have to check into that after the show <laughs> i feel like uh the little black the, both of them are a little out of practice who did that was it you little black cat okay i'll give you i'll give you That's both one because i missed it oh he ran off with it <laughs> yeah he gets sick sick of sprite stealing stealing, stealing it so treats. he'll run, run off with the treats try again good kitty, good kitty. there you go um also down there um, it was so it was very very busy our our time down there oh. like we said um, I also at the same time there was the Portland Film Festival yeah and I moderated a uh, panel discussion there about ethics in documentary filmmaking which yeah. went really well it went really well it was actually a it was really, really great good. discussion with um, uh, uh, myself uh, moderating and four filmmakers yes yes and they all had very different films so it was, yeah. it was a really good discussion yeah so I'm, I'm really glad i did that actually <laughs> there you go <laughs> there you go you gotta gotta ring it tari come on he's good we pressed it oh okay. i don't know if it made a sound i, I think he kind... thought it did because he did it at the same yeah. time <laughs> uh yes the weather was beautiful well, it was warm. It was incredibly warm. Well, it was touch warmer than I than perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was hot. Uh, very unseasonably warm for October. Good. I mean, it's nice. It's a bad indicator, but it's it was very nice weather, and it's still pretty nice here. Uh, it was very. Um, I'm almost getting like anxious because it hasn't rained. It like it In really months. needs to rain here. So there's <laughs> lots of fires and it's um it's hazy outside. Hazy here. There's like red hazy sun in, going on. Hazy in Portland yeah. as well. The sunsets are beautiful, but 
not the a way you want scary, them. A little scary. Yeah. 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 We need rain. Yeah. We need some rain. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. We went out for pizza. Oh, with yeah. A bunch of the guys. Uh, ground control with a bunch of the guys. Yes. Um, met so many people. Yeah. Like, yeah. Th- <laughs> being away for three years. Now, we've done this show. show. We're in our fifth <laughs> year. Mm. Thank you, Captain Reggie, for, for resubscribing. Mm-hmm. 27 months. We've done this show. We're on the fifth year of this show. Yeah. So, back in 2019. Oh, flip it back yeah. there. As cute as Back that. in 2019. Yeah. We had only been doing this show for one year. Yes. And the difference between then <laughs> and now, so many people came up to us. It yeah. was really, really nice. It was really nice, and people were really friendly. And I hope there wasn't anyone there who felt, you know, intimidated to come and say hi or anything yeah. like that. And, but... and I mean, leading up to it, I said, come up to us, yeah. say hi, yep. no problem. You want a picture, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it yeah. was just really nice to meet everyone and, yeah. and just, you know, Hear putting... that they enjoy the stream yeah, yeah yeah and like some of the some of the the people who who show up in the chat all the time to actually yes. put like a face to the name yeah they're and... coming up and saying their chat names so i'm like oh, oh yeah, yeah like yeah. cubanismo yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and your names went in and out of my head immediately so <laughs> i'm we're, terrible we're, with names yeah terrible i'll remember the handles probably more than the, yes. than, the <laughs> than the names than the actual names yeah but uh, it was really really nice to meet everyone yeah. so. and, and it yeah. really felt like we were part of the community yeah. Um, with everybody saying hi and recognizing mm-hmm. us and saying how much they they love the show. And it was really, really nice. It was really yeah. nice. And just meeting everyone. It was just meeting really fun. Meeting everyone and yeah. hanging out with everyone. And all I'm going to say is next next time, next year, probably, yeah. when we go, yeah. no more filming. <laughs> we need to actually spend some time like going yeah. going and seeing it. I it, think we got a lot of that out this year. We and... did. We interviewed so many people. So next year, we probably won't bring the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just bring one for little on the fly stuff instead yeah, we'll of like be big like, long form interviews. We'll like stream with the phone or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Wi Fi we we plan on doing a stream. Yeah. But one we had no time to do it because no. we we're doing interviews and I think those were a lot more interesting. I think they were to broadcast. Yeah. And uh two, the the cell reception and Wi Fi were very poor because of mm-hmm. how many people were there. It was really, really packed. It was packed, yeah. Um so next year we'll probably calm down We'll be able to do some streaming yeah. of some fun things. More fun things next time. Yeah. And, well, it was fun. The whole thing was fun. But no interviews and more fun things yeah. next time. Interview only the remaining main Yeah, people. exactly. Well, the problem the is we have to missed. bring down all this equipment. Well, it's you can, very You can heavy. bring the lighter equipment with you and, and, yeah, and do yeah. some handheld videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. more we pizza, have... less interviews More pizza, next time. yes, exactly. The 2019 <laughs> live stream was pretty bad anyway. It was. Yeah. And it was going to, it was worse. The, the Wi-Fi was worse this oh, year yeah. because of the population. It's so. definitely easier to record it and put it online after, I think. It is. Yeah. And, and I recorded in 4K, so this will be like the first 4K ZPH stuff. Oh. Oh, nice. That'll be posted. Yeah. If you can watch in 4K. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we'll we'll use like the phone f- next time for <laughs> like simple stuff. We'll just yeah. use the phone. It's very very light. Um, let other people film, have fun. Yes, mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, that's enough uh, preamble. Uh, let's get to the games. We can talk in between the mm-hmm. games about more of our experiences mm-hmm. and things that happened. Charles says, lots of equipment helps with customs, too. Oh, oh yeah, we got harassed on the way did. down. Get it. What are you doing? Blah, yeah. blah, blah. What are you filming? Who are you filming? Yeah, it's like... What it's, are you filming it's, for? Is it a job? It's for a live stream. You can tell she was trying to get us to, like, say, oh, Trip someone's up. paying us down there because that is a problem. You need a visa yeah. to work for money, right? Nobody's paying us. We're it's not like, going down no, to take an American job away. We're putting it online. <laughs> we're taking we're taking something for ourselves to put online. And, and it's yeah. like, yeah, they really harass you. It is... Technically a job, yes. <laughs> uh, yes but you're not no. paid through. I, I'm not being paid to do the filming. That and that's what she's trying to. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm not a, being paid by yeah. an American company or any company to do the filming. Yeah. So that is what they are looking. They are for. looking for as a job. You're not being paid to yeah. do the thing you're doing. Yeah. It, uh, just going down, t- and and this I'm actually I get no money from because it's going straight to YouTube. YouTube doesn't pay me a cent. Because I'm not monetizing YouTube at all. Yeah, yeah. So, technically, no. No. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> it's advertising yeah. i don't know it's just a thing yeah it's that's all so good. it's much easier to say no it's not for a job because it's not getting paid for yeah it. exactly okay so time for the games uh the first game is pantheon 2 uh exclusive world premiere by mike indovina Mero also known as sages faction for resubscribing 18 months yeah. hello back um this is the guy who has, makes all of these games. We've played them on the show. Yes. Local Hero, um, yeah. Pantheon Original. Like these are the ones where he makes little, <coughs> little hmm. characters. Remember, yeah. remember Local Hero, where you can mix and match your superhero. Yeah, look. you get to pick your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So good. I, I like it I a lot. I love that detail. Yeah. So he's made a, um, a sequel to Pantheon. Mm. And the original one was like Greek mythology. And you get to go all over to different lands. I remember that was great. Yeah. 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 So he's made Local Hero, Local Hero 2, Pantheon, Pantheon 2 now, yeah. Text Adventure, and Text Adventure 2. I see a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a game and a sequel, a game and yeah. a sequel. Uh, and this is a 32K a game. It is not posted yet. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's world premiere. Uh, I'm guessing he will post it later on because he, us he usually does post these games mm -hmm. uh, as well afterwards so it is an exclusive world premiere let's boot it up here we go oh, 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 oh there you go and we will figure out how to play it on the fly excellent switch over so you can see it yes. yeah Yay. 4k means something else yeah i like the all the 4K nobody here jokes uses in here. 4k oh yeah yeah, yeah. 4k yeah. in this group is for the atari games <laughs> yeah 4k means something very different to uh yep. when i say it here yeah <laughs> pantheon nice. 2 uh you are a minor god just starting out your goal is to obtain new followers and then make a name for yourself by killing the evil Typhon, who has made invaded Mount Olympus and is fathering all sorts of monsters throughout Greece. On the opening screen, works. you can yeah. move the joystick to select your body type. Uh, satyr, oh. centaur, triton, or nymph. Nice. Satyr, so he's, centaur, he's included it. triton, triton. Nymph. nymph. So he's included this selection screen just like local hero. Nice. So, uh, it doesn't say what each of them does. Maybe they all have the same powers, but okay. we'll find out. So which oh, one are you going to start for? with the first one? And he says, hit reset when done. You should probably change that to the button. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to get up. Oh, woohoo. There you are. White square. You're a white square. Ah! Ah, you got eaten. Uh, next you can avoid Typhon and then enter one temple that is unlocked. Well, that one's not a lot. There you go. Okay, so sit here for a second. Okay. This is the... Uh, okay, it doesn't say what this temple is called, but he says you'll need five followers to get into the next temple, the Labyrinth of Crete. Okay. Ten to get into the next one, the Underworld, and 15 to get into the uppermost temple, okay. Mount Olympus. That's the upper one. Okay. Yeah. Each temple has been invaded by monsters, which you can fight. Okay. If you kill a monster, they will leave a storage jar, which will contain a valuable or a valuable or a healing potion. Okay. You can scroll through your inventory by pressing the button and moving the joystick left or right. So let's do that right now. So you have eight hearts, five wheat, uh, five skulls, uh, five gold. I'm guessing shiny gold rocks, five cups, potions, cups, potions, and zero followers. Followers. I'm gonna okay. guess. Yep. Okay. Yeah, very nice world map. Let's nice. we'll, we'll see it again after. Yeah, we will. Oh, here they are. Hearts health. Okay. Grain. Yeah. Livestock. Uh gold and wine. Ooh, there we go. Wine. You like the wine. And followers. Uh you may come across potential followers, the creatures that don't move. Okay. Uh you win followers by giving them a gift. Select oh. the gift in your inventory, then press down on the joystick to drop it. The creature will disappear and you will gain a follower. Oh. Satyrs take five wine. 
Centaurs five livestock, Tritons five gold, and Nymphs five grain. Oh my goodness! Okay, so you, you have, have to. to build... I might have to ask you to re yeah. to reference. So you that. have to. So you do start off with enough to bribe any of them. Yeah, tea for alcohol reference. <laughs> Tanya for alcohol reference. Tanya for alcohol. <laughs> so you you it does look like you have enough to to gain any of the followers to begin with. Okay. Uh, there are other creatures as well that will not only become followers, but they'll give you a magic item as well. The griffins will give you 10 gold. Oh, get out of here. Uh, the sorcerers will give you a shield for 10 grain. Hercules will give you a lightning bolt for 10 wine. Cerebus will give you the helmet of darkness for 10 livestock. Ooh. The armor will reduce the amount of damage you suffer from attacks. The shield will regenerate your hearts nice. and negate the Gorgon's stone gaze, which normally would kill you outright. Oh my oh god. Boy. Uh, the lightning bolt is a more powerful weapon, mm. and the helmet will render you invisible upon entering a room. Oh. Though once you attack, you'll become visible again. You'll become again. visible again. Okay. You don't need the weapons to win, but they're very helpful. Yeah, I would think so. Once you have 15 followers, you may enter Mount Olympus, fight, find Typhon, and kill him to win. Nice. There we go. Oh, okay. So that's a that's follower. That's a satyr. So you need to give the satyr... Do I go on top of it? <laughs> it doesn't say. Okay. Uh, so you have to scroll through that things and press down. Which is the one? What does the satyr need? Uh, oh, there it is. Wine. And then down. There you go. Yay! And you gain to now go over to the followers. Yay! You have one followers. So that's one out of five before you can get into the next temple. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, this... Nope, nothing nope. there. Go down again. Nothing there. So the ones that have indents means you can go through. Yeah, that one I thought had one, but it's just the pattern. So, yeah. okay, we're going right. Nothing here. I don't think there's any sound yet for this game. Oh, ah, oh, ah. How do I, how, how? Press the button, shoot him. Ah! Oh. What was that? <laughs> Not sure. Um, yeah, I don't think there's... Oh, was there sound? I saw something pop up. Is there sound? Turn up the volume here. Oh, there's no volume. Yeah. Volume for them. I see a high point there. Yeah. A beep. Okay. There's some line count issues that I see. It was jumping a bit. No. Okay, just but This back. is just the first release of it. And, we'll... and when you go through a door, a little bit of a jump. Ooh, ah. boy. Ah. Oh, there's a beep. No, no. Stay away! Ah! How how can he go through pillars? Well, ah. he's, he's oh now you're down to six health. <laughs> he's very very erratic in his movement. <laughs> uh, uh, ah. He kind of centers around you, but he's very erratic. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Oh, did I reset you probably it? Probably reset him. Oh. Yeah, you probably did. Oh my goodness. There's no way it's keeping track of every monster oh. in no. here. No, no, get away from me! Get away! Shoot! Oh my goodness. Not very good at this. <laughs> ah. oh. The other Yay. guy took two. Oh, I needed a heart. He's a god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some screen shaking. Yeah, that's, yeah that's a little bit of, little screen, bit of screen shaking. shaking. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, fun. it's dramatic. It's like in a movie where the camera's going, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. It's shaky cam. What is, shaky what was that? Cam. What was that movie? Um, Band of Brothers where they had this super shaky cam. One of, one of, one of the, um, mm. one of the episodes. N no, uh, one of the movies, one of the war movies where it was oh, just constant. Band of Brothers is a TV show. TV I know series. it's it's I think it was one of the movies that had terrible shaky cam when it came oh, out. Oh, it was it, it's, years ago now. Well, it was noted back then because it was mm -hmm. uh it was um the one at the part in the beach with Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Play Rich Project. Yeah. Well, that one That one definitely was did. Was vomity. That how much shaking that one. Uh, that was probably the very first super shaky camera. Yeah. But unintentional because it was all handheld uh footage, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was the one where they were rescuing. Super 8 as well. That's Rescuing. What was it called? Oh, Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private That's Ryan. I think yeah. it was that one, yeah. Okay, keep it going. All right. <laughs> he took two, thank Short goodness. Short work. Yeah, yeah, that was a... Uh, these are just minions. Uh, so you rescue one person. Okay, I'm going to go back down here. Uh, dead ends. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, oh found another follower. Guy. Okay, and what about my centaur here? 
five livestock. There you go. Now you have zero nice. livestock. Nice. How many followers do you have? Two. Two. Okay. You need it's in fives, right? Yes. So you need three more. Oh, he took one. Oh, that's nice. Weak skeletons. Very yeah. weak. Ah, ah. I mean, that's a dead oh. end. You don't have to fight him, but you do get stuff. You can get health. Because you need it. Yeah. Well, you're down to five. Back down to normal. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's definitely easier from the... Side? Yeah. Oh, right into it. Oh, run, run, run. You're dying. No, I, 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 I can't. Oh, he no. killed me. No, he kept shooting you, shooting you, shooting you. He wasn't shooting me, he was touching me, I think. Uh. Oh. oh. Press the button? Okay. All right, let's pick someone else. I'm going to go with the super it's my turn to play. Nymph. You can be the nymph. There you go. The Keep nymph? going. Which yeah. One? That one? The nymph. That one? That one? There you go. Okay. Reset? The instructions. It was the reset. Yeah, yeah. reset. Oh, uh, watch out! Run away! Uh, <laughs> oh, eight. You ran into that. Oh, look at the movement. Oh, the nymph is wiggle, awesome. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay. Someone's Let's, having fun with those sprites. What do I need? Uh, where was it? Uh, what if you drop the wrong thing? Uh, you probably useless? just pick it back up. I don't know. Or do you do you use it? Ooh. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We'll be seeing Stormlord on Jaguar tonight. No. Yeah. Nope. Seder is five wine. Yay! Follower. Woot. No, no new releases. Those will be uh, when they are during Atari <laughs> Age Day. That's when you'll see all the new releases. Wiggle, wiggle, and super thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, TikTok <laughs> Am I radio. listening to TikTok radio? <laughs> Oh, oh, not so God. easy when you're doing it, eh? Ah! ah, ah. Get away! Yeah. It is It is awkward. They're very, like, erratic in their movement. Sometimes if you're lucky, you get them, like, right as you walk in the room. Yeah, it's... This is a simulation of James and Tanya trying to get to the border with their cameras. That's yes. right. Ah! This guy's too hard. Forget him. He's you two. Don't have He's to. two. I know. You don't have to get them. So if you're not low on health, then just avoid them. Yep. Okay, centaur. Uh, do, 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 do. Five livestock. Good job. You don't even have to be that close. I thought you had to like get on top of them. Hey, great cat. I think this guy's really easy. So this He's might, one. Yeah. This might be the one to spam. <laughs> yeah. ZPH the game two road to PRG. <laughs> oh, what did I found? What? Mm, oh, gaming it. Gaming it. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. And it's a health, too. Yep. Which can only go up to 10, so. And that is dead end. Hi, kitties. Hi. Hi, mister. He's holding my hand. Oh, he's a sweetie cat. Oh, Griffin. All right, Cuban Ismo, thanks for joining us. ZPH the game, too. Road to PRG. Yeah. That would be pretty good. <laughs> Okay, Are the positions the of Griffin? monsters and followers fixed, or is it random? Uh, uh, I think they're... So far, they're fixed. They look pretty fixed. That's Because Griffin? I can go out of a room and into a room, unless it's randomized each game. Uh, it must be a Triton. Five gold? Oh, my God. Nope. You just dropped? I just dropped it, and it was useless. Can you drop the rest of it? Oh! <gasps> what is that, then? I can't drop the rest. Satyrs are five wines, centaurs are five livestock, tritons five gold, and nymphs five grain. Nope. You maybe lost I'm, all of it? Maybe I'm too far away. Maybe you were, and now you've lost it. Oh, God. Okay. What's Poseidon? Well, that's that's a... Triton, that's five gold. Um, four. So you can't... Nope. So you dropped the grain and didn't get anything. Nope. Maybe I was too far away. I don't know. Can you find things? You can find things when you kill things? Yeah. Well, kill them and see if you get something. Okay. Nothing. No? So he is only health. <gasps> so there's all three. 
I found all three uh, things. But you messed it all up. So, yeah, I messed it all up. Can you get more? Uh, Where did the one gold go? Yeah, that's weird. You should be dropping all of it. Maybe if you kill someone else. He's two. So let's see what this is. Zero, 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 four, zero. Probably hearts. Are you so back that's up gold. To 10? So what? Uh, oh, it's random. Because it did say you, you it, it'll drop one of two things. Health or you'll get something. So I don't think it's always the same, is it? No, it's not. It's uh, random. Okay, so I'm just going to fight this guy a bunch. Because <laughs> he only takes three. He takes two. Okay. Yeah. The skeleton takes one, he takes two. I, I think it's random drops, though. See, you got health that time. Ah, uh, the skeleton wasn't, though. Skeleton was really? health every single time. Well, Maybe not, but it was health a lot. You just got health when you were doing it. Yeah, it would. I would like to see what you pick up when you pick it up. Yeah. That would be nice. Like it should change to it. Yeah. Maybe. In your um. In your inventory, should flip over to it. Yeah. Show it for a second and then go up. Yeah, like flash almost. See what you have now. Zero zero ten. Ten, ten gold. Lots of gold. Lots of wine. Okay. Maybe maybe Twelve it's just gold. gold and wine that. That yeah. guy gives and health. Maybe. maybe it maybe it does matter. Who it is? Maybe it does. Maybe the heart some of the harder ones, some of the other items you can only get if you fight a harder dude. Oh, nope. You got livestock. Just got livestock. Ah. Okay. So we're good. Luckily he starts out on the same horizontal plane as you. <gasps> and if he stays there you can shoot him twice. Yeah. Always correct. I think you should find this. <gasps> oh, waste. Yeah, I'm gonna go find the skeleton maybe. Where are you, Mr. Skeleton? Okay. Okay. So what was I have this some again? stuff. I don't have. Ugh, don't have enough livestock. It just let He's me go. He's a centaur. So yeah, he needs five livestock. So I've almost got enough. Oh, 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 oh. You need hearts. Okay, I'm... Oh, <gasps> God. He's hard. Oh, ah! God. I think it was back here and over here and up. Nope. No, that's your centaur. You might have enough for him. Or is this sadder? What is he? Oh, my God. He's a satyr. So he takes wine. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Trying to find the skeleton. Oh, you lost him. You're not getting him again? Uh, there we are. Oh, didn't give me any health. There we go. Spam the skeleton. Yeah. is that the shake is the mythical creature's awesome stomping power. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it works. Shake, 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 shake. It's not... It kind of warns you that there's something in the room, actually, in a weird way. Don't know if that's intentional. No. He's, he, he did reduce some of the shake. Okay. Um, I like that skeleton, too. It's pretty awesome. He's pretty spooky. Seven. Let's get up to ten. Whew. You have all your stuff back. Ah. Just going to go in and out. There we go. Yeah, if the monster leaves your line of sight, you just walk out and come back in. Because he, he, yes. he shows up on, on your plant, like on that. Which is great for yeah. the skeleton because he only takes one hit. I think I'm going to go up just a little bit. Oh. He's still, like, their, their movement is still really erratic. Very erratic. Maybe that should be randomized, the starting position, because that's a little easy. Ow! I don't think it. so. Once Ow. they start moving. Oof. Nine. Good, good. The skeleton oh. should also be animated, says Vitoko. Oh, this two legs. Yeah, it just needs yeah. to be flipped. Yeah. So. Yeah! You've got to have enough of everything now. Yeah, because it's anytime I don't get health, you're getting, I'm something, getting something else. else, or maybe nothing. No, uh, I think I think you. Every time you get oh, something, I'm pretty sure you do. Unless maybe you're maxed out on the other things, I don't know. Ah. 
Nine. Ten. Yay. Okay, see what you have. See what you have. Six, Six eight, eight, 19, Ooh, 10. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So where were the dudes? Oh, a nymph. Okay. Five grain. I'm going to be right over. There we go. Nice followers. Three. Oh, you can just do it again? Oh, I guess you could because it's... If you have enough, oh, then you, so you can just... Oh, get yeah. as many as you can with what you have. Yeah. <gasps> oh, get him. Get him. No, no. He's one. He's one. Oh, sure. I, I, I uh, apologize for... There you go. Sure. <laughs> Ah, dead end. This is a dead end. Ow! Jeez. Ah! Dead I end. love the nymph, the way is the nymph is. randomly lives. generated each time? I think so. The room should be the well, same. There we go. There's a different path. Okay. Yes, Seder. Seder. Five wine. Get two of them. If you walk One back more. out. Oh, do I have enough wine? Yep. Don't you want to be on? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Five followers. So you can get into the next room, right? It's 5, 10, and 15. Okay. It's one of the ones at the bottom, I think. Yeah, the one at the top is the last one. Not that one. How do you, can you cross over the water? No, you can't. So... Where... That's Mount Olympus, isn't it? Or is the Mount Olympus oh, at the bottom? Can't get that one. Maybe you need to get something from that? Ah! He's mean. Oh, See no ship. Oh. I can switch, but... Oh, some, some jumpies here, too. Uh -huh. it, there's only four the, things? The door, oh, there's a the door, bridge. The, uh, where? There's, there's a... Ah! No! No! Get out of here! Why is he... Oh, I'm gonna die! He took a health! <laughs> Run away! Ah! You have to get to that bridge. <gasps> he goes after you. He gets really excited. There we go. Here there we go. we go. Okay. Made Whew. it. Maybe the followers need to be selected. To no, enter. you could see the door was open. Yeah, there. If you look at if you look oh, at the icon, that's probably there's a door that's open. And that probably wasn't there before. Yeah. 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 Is that a little bridge down there to the island? Yes. 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 Five followers, time to become a switch partner, says That's RC70. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, five followers. He looks like he's doing the floss. This is TikTok, says <laughs> RC70. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Funny stuff. Ah! Oh my god, that guy is very brutal. The centaur? Oh, oh he's moving fast. Oh my god. Oh, Maybe they all move faster now. Uh, no. Oh my god. That's crazy. And really no reason no. to get him. No. Because... Unless you need stuff. It, it doesn't mention anything special you need to get. Well, you run out of stuff to trade for followers. Ah. Uh, oh. He's two, so... Supposedly. Uh, oh, it's down. Was that a dead end? You know what? I don't know if it was. Oh, there is no incentive to go here. I should just go back to the other one and keep getting followers until I have 15 and then go to Mount Olympus. Right? Just keep killing the skeleton and getting followers, skeleton followers. Skeleton. Yeah. No, but but there's but there's helmets and there's shields oh. and stuff, right? And you didn't get anything from the other room, so I'm wondering if you missed something. Possibly. Cuz cuz you probably can't complete. No, it says you can without any of those upgrades. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh what do I need for fish dude? Oh, uh, what is this? This is, uh, do, do, do. Boring that way, though. Yes. Five gold. Five gold. Oh, excellent. And leave and come back and Six. leave and come back. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of gold. Hey, if he's willing to join me, might as well. Nice. Nine. One more. But you, you do want to see if you can... Maybe the guys who move really fast have the stuff. Most likely, because they're special. You right? should try to kill one of them, oh, at least. Oh, come on, that was cheap. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, reset. Got a lot of hits on him, though. 
Oh. oh. But I don't know how you'd know. Uh, you probably just get it. So maybe maybe he's just a bad, bad guy. Uh, you don't equip it, do you? No, there's... It probably just auto-equips. Oh, dead end. He just comes no, back. No, down. You, it's not a dead end. You've said oh. that many times. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's a dead end. I'm like, I don't think it was a dead end. Just, uh, just dodge those dudes. Yeah, they're too deadly. Ooh. Oh my god, uh, came straight for me too. Oh, yeah. The skeleton. I need some some health. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, he just seems downright easy. It's not giving me health though. Oh, there you there go. We go. <laughs> What's the plural of Poseidon? Poseidon? Poseidon eyes. Poseidon eyes. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about <coughs> this technique in games? Choosing it? Yeah, I think we've asked that before as a, as a question. Uh, I think it's valid. I think there are games where you have to do stuff like that. It's like, there it's are so grinding. many... It's grinding. It's grinding. There's so many modern games where you have to grind to get yeah. your score up, your level up, to get gold. Like, it's such a common... That's true. Common thing in it's, games. It's like hunting rats. It's like, okay, well, you can hunt rats all day. Yeah. And what I'm doing is hunting skeletons all day. I but... used to play... I don't think they ever came out with a newer version. Like, Fable okay. was one of those games... Where you could be good or evil, but it, it involved so much grinding that I game. You get gold from skeletons, because... No? Maybe not. not no, cute. you got lots of gold the last time. Ah! No! <gasps> you went through the wall! I did. I don't want to do that. I don't want to crash the game right now. There's a bug! I like the look of the dungeons, but I would like to see some different layouts. Uh, yeah. yeah, is it the same? It is the it same It is layout. the same in every room. Yeah, that Even would be good. Even just swapping up the, the pillars or something, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the first release, so that, that I'm sure, can be done. Um, you're just reading a different... Actually, RC70, it's not just hearts only. You just had a string where they, the, the, yeah. the skeleton just gave you hearts. Oh, it is giving gold. Yeah. I had one before. I'm not sure if what you're killing impacts what it, sure. it drops or how many it drops yeah i mean maybe the other guys drop more do you think oh no 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 <gasps> the thing is you go through the wall and you're stuck in the wall till it gets to the opening yeah is it because it's the nymph maybe because of the movement uh that's possible because the it's the it's bubble, the wiggling bubble, bubble. <laughs> Because for one second I'm not there, and the next second I am putting my tail yeah. in it. Yeah. So it thinks I'm stuck, and it pushes me down it's, automatically. It's like Yamo on the Moon. It um, is exactly like Yamo on the Moon, actually. Vitopa says you got two gold by killing another creature. So yeah, the level yeah. of the creature might impact what you get from them. Yeah. Okay, I've got a lot yeah. of stuff, so I just need to find things that don't need gold. <gasps> ah! Oh my God. What is it? 11, 17, 2, 12. So 11, 17, 6. 6. So you got 4 from that so guy. You get, you He's do a get level more. 4. You do get more. Level 4 monster. Is it worth it? Mm, <laughs> it's easier to kill skeletons all day. <laughs> it is. Kill Much that safer. skeleton. Is this empty? Yeah. I haven't seen anything to pick up here. Let's yeah. go down. I haven't been really down here. There's nothing. Dead end? Maybe it I is kind of I random. I haven't run into any, any... Okay, stop it. Did you go up? Uh, yeah. That's where that fast guy is. Let's go down. Oh, my God. Nope. Was that dead end? Nope, yeah. there is a oh, down. Oh, there is a down. And to the right. Yay! Yay, okay. okay. He's a centaur, five livestock for him. Yay, got three of them. He disappeared. Ooh, interesting. Try again. <gasps> oh, oh, you've you've maximized your centaurs, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. How many followers do you have? Oh, so oh, you have ten. Oh, so it does, stops. It stops you. That makes sense. So you sense. can't. You can't exceed it. You have to go to the other. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. So you can't just start. That that's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the skeleton? <laughs> That, that enemy is creepy in some way I can't put my finger on. Is it because it looks like he's wearing a mask? The one that moves really fast with the horns? That one is creepy. That one I find really... And it moves... Yeah, it's... it's There's there's a horror-esque kind of vibe going. 
Yeah, I could almost play this for the Halloween episode. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Which I do need some suggestions, actually. Um, 8-bit games. We're going to do an 8-bit Eight Halloween. Okay. Um, so, oh, God. Stop it. No, no! Ugh. That might need to be fixed, too. Okay, I don't think this is the right way. I think I need to... Because that's too deadly. Dude! <laughs> when you get trapped, I need to go left and up. Left and up and up and left and up and left. You trying to get out? Yeah, because I'm finished you this You still haven't maze. gotten any of the fancy stuff. Yeah, and I don't know what it looks like when you do get Leather it. Leatherhead centaur, yeah. Oh, okay, there's so, so that one is next. I should be able to do this one next. Yeah. So I need five yeah. more guys. I've got 13. So yeah. I can get two. I can get one. I can get two. And two there. So that's that's enough if I run into the right guys. Oh, oh my god, well, I don't know what good? that was. Uh, so let's see, we've got 11, 14, 8, and 13. There we go. That was a big one. Yeah. A whole bunch of wine. A whole bunch of wine. The way oh, to hurts. defeat them, hold down the button and just hold towards them. It'll just oh. go shoot, 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 especially if they get close. Yeah, and then they don't move out of your... faster. Your area. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? God. No! Stop it! Please, hearts. Yeah. Yay. Need a skeleton. <laughs> Come on, skeleton. Okay, wow, big down. long hallway. Uh, no, nope, there we go. So what does... Just press down to get rid of that. Oh, you know that what that was in that first level? That was a griffin. You give it ten gold and it gives you armor. Oh, we maybe I can that. go back. Yeah, I bet you can. Satyr is five too. wine. Sorry. What? Just oh, press down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five wine? Five wine. Okay. Yeah. There we nice. go. Let's see if he comes back. Oh, yeah. yeah. And one last wine. More wine? There you go. Yeah. So we need two more. Is it 15 total? And 15? then I go to the last level? And then you can go level? to Mount Olympus, yeah. So now I can go down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is that? Don't die, don't die. Find a skeleton. Get out of the way. Just go. Oh. Uh, Down to six. Uh. Oh, oh skeleton. skeleton. Thank you, skeleton. Oh, let's do some farming. Ah, not like that. But not like that. Oh, that's too bad it's not in a horizontal. Yeah. Farm those skeletons. <laughs> Farm them good. Yeah, and this farm breeds Hydra, yeah, breeds I think so. Skeletons. Hydra ha is a three-headed snake, though, right? Uh, Hydra is is I think uh, so. not a, more like is a it? dragon snake. Oh, thing. okay. And it's where you cut off one of its head and two more appears. Oh, so it's not a three-headed snake. No, it can be. Starts with one head, chop off, then it's two, chop okay. off, then three. So you have to chop off two I heads. I don't know my mythology all that well, apparently. I know a little bit. I know mythology. a little bit. I, I remember oh, little bits here and there. Ah, uh, back and to eight. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. The movement of the enemies is excellent. Like, really unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they hang around you, but they don't <laughs> just go for you. Yeah. He uh, He's done really well. He's uh, He has a, a number of games now that he has enemies that chase you. Mm -hmm. So, I think he's got the pattern of them. I think they're really, really good. Really good. Oh, come on. Every time I go in, I, like, get... Get one. It's definitely easier if you get them from the side. <laughs> Way easier, but yeah. this room does not allow oh, that. Was there? Oh. No! Ah. Get out of the way! No! Oh. oh my god. Eight might be the best we're gonna get. Um, oh, James, stop it. I can't, I can't help it. Back to seven. Eight. Let's get nine. Is there a predictability of the movement or just random? It feels really random to me. Really random. Um It's it's very hard to predict. Like they they kind of gravitate towards you, mm -hmm. but they also have random movement. Nine. Come on! Give me nine. 
Um, nine. At least it seems you only lose one heart even if the same enemy hits you multiple times. Oh. If you kind of get caught up in the enemy, It'll... you don't lose a ton. You just lose one, but I think if a certain amount of on time the... passes, you'll lose another. On the harder creatures, it goes down fast. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Let's see if we can find another guy. Huh? Uh, not... Yeah. See? Get out of there. Oh, oh God. See, that's much harder guy, so he, he knocked me down really quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bastard. They don't know that they're being shot at, though. That guy has weird knees. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't get cornered by them. You really have to, like, run away. Oh, God. Four. Five. Just want to get up to eight. Maybe I've got enough of that. What was it? Wine? <laughs> See how much wine this skeleton has given me. Maybe I just go back and load up on the wine wine guys. I only need one more, don't I? No, two more. And it's really cool that when you go into a room where you're fighting a creature, it switches to your health automatically and mm -hmm. shows the health automatically rather than the thing that you were looking at. So you know how badly you're doing and you don't have to switch over to it. Six. So I think somebody asked when I was going to play some of the new mm. games mm. from Atari Age. Um, those will all be during Atari Age Day which will be in November mm -hmm. when, when we'll be playing all the new games. So some people already have the new games out there, but uh, we'll be talking with all the developers live nice. during Atari Age Day. Nice. Atari Age Days. Fall days? Edition because <laughs> 25? 25, 25? 25 games. Luckily, cool. there are some developers that have multiple games. Yeah. So it won't be 25 interviews, but uh, enough to fill. Oh, we'll get one more. Enough to fill uh, two days worth. There Nine. we go. Okay. Did you buy guys buy anything cool there? T-shirts. T-shirts. <laughs> uh, switcher. Um, everything that I want is... Ex I did find one thing that I'm on my list that yeah. I did want. Yeah. Um, it was a, a smoke gray N64. Yeah. But it was like 325 US. 325 US. Add 40% for the conversion to Canadian. If the Canadian dollar yeah. wasn't so bad, I would have bought it. It was yeah. perfect condition. Yeah. Um, but it was it was just, it was just a bit too much. much out of my price range. Yeah, he is a happy, sleepy kitty. The black skeleton? cat is sort of, you can see his bum on the cat cam there. Okay, I can get two more. He's wine, right? Yeah. Which will be enough, actually. And I can go to Mount Olympus. Yay! And then you have no 15. protections. Unless you want to go back to the... The, the what? The first the level? The griffin, yeah, because we found the griffin and then sure. didn't know what to do with it, so... Let's do that. It should be easier on the first level? I don't know. Uh, I would think it would be. But there must be... What is that? I killed Medusa. it. Medusa. I, I know, I know, the Medusa. <gasps> he got you! Run away! Oh my god. Oh my god, I think... It gets harder as... You, oh, Mount Olympus? You want Mount, Oli Mount That's Olympus? That's the last one. Okay. Oh, you mean... Yeah, go back. Okay, I'll go back. See if you can find that griffin. Just to help me. Are you going to move? <laughs> Don't have to move. Oh. No! Shoot! Left! Oh my god. What's going on? Um, the griffin needed ten gold, so as long as you have ten Oh, gold, okay. I think you do. Oh yeah, I, I haven't been spending the gold. 14. Yeah. 8. Let's get up to 10. Ugh. Not that way it won't. This is where you spam for health. He's near the entrance, and he's on a horizontal plane. Knee flaps. <laughs> yeah, that guy is weird. Flappity flap. Oh. Eight. Eight. 
Come on. Oh. Nine. It has fractional health. It, it does. If, if, if people are wondering, it is not an absolute one hit. Yeah. It just only displays it as a whole number. As a whole number, yeah. There Ten. we go. All right. So we're looking for the a griffin. griffin that doesn't move. It was right. They can't shoot through walls. They can go through walls, though. Or pillars. Oh, what? Dead end. What? No, you go. Oh, it is a dead end. It's a dead end. I think you. Where? Did I miss one at the beginning? Yeah, probably. I think so, yeah. I think there's a split. Uh. <sighs> there it is. I went to the right instead of down. It's like two, two major paths in this one. Uh, you flap guy. That's a dead end, isn't is it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Me flap guy. Uh. Must be way at the end. Oh, it's an up. Oops. Up and up. An up and up. I think maybe he's up here. There. Yep. Okay. So the griffin gold. is gives you armor for ten gold. Okay. There we go. So we now have you have armor. Just don't know. What's the right? I don't think we went. Did we oh, go? there we go. It does display it as so an item. You have it, kind of thing. Yeah. So that's one thing. That's good. We that, only have one. I think we'll go to the. Yeah. Go down. Go there. down. See if there's anything. Do you think there's anything Didn't. more? No. No. It, no. it would be one item per place, I would think. There you go. No. Oh. Gathering health and no. leaving. Gathering health and leaving. Going to Mount Olympus. Enter Mount Olympus with ten. Nine. There you go. See if I get hit on the way out. Probably. Oh, probably. And I'll spam it up on the last skeleton. I love how I love how the nymph moves. <laughs> so good. It's like they're swimming. Oh no no! Some skeleton health. <laughs> Kill some of those skeletons. Yep. Get them good. Kill them good. How are you keeping track of where you are? Um, just sort Mental. of. Mental. <laughs> just it, sort there's of. There's not too many paths, so. Oh, stop it. I have to go around the bottom. Okay, here we are. All right. The last pantheon, I guess. Yep. Um, and this is where you do what? Ah! <laughs> Kill them. Um, ah. What is it? Oh, okay. Typhon. You lose? No! I got. I had nine health and he shot me once. How did you lose? I don't know. Shot me once. Oh, wow. This is where you die? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. This is where I die. Well, this is good. I obviously. You obviously. It is you very helpful. You need all the other stuff, I bet. Because it did say if you get hit once on a certain guy and you don't have a thing, you will die. Oh, that's the gore. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. I'll leave it as an exercise to the viewer when yep. he releases it. Pretty awesome, Pantheon 2. And someone was asking about Pantheon 1. We played that. Yeah, didn't we played we? that a while back. It's a little bit of a different gameplay for that, if I Yeah, recall. different gathering things. It yeah. was is very similar. There's mazes, you yeah. get things, you gather things. I can't remember what it was, but... Um, mm -hmm. And it had a, a similar overview map as well. Nice. Yeah, it looks really good, especially the, um, the... The screen here looks really, really nice. Oh, he's killing the land. you. I know. There's a little uh, shift on the left there with, with the water <laughs> that uh, could be fixed up. Yeah. Um, some timing issue. But uh, excellent, excellent game. Super fun. Pantheon 2.
Look for it. Very well thought out, yes. For where, where all good homebrew is uh, available. No, he'll be in the Atari Age forums <laughs> at some point. Uh, may may wor uh, be working on it a little bit more. Oh, very nice. A well thought very out fun. game for sure. Yes, very it well is thought out. a great, uh, Carl G knows uh, RPGs. Yes. And it's a fun little RPG. It is a fun little game, yeah. And it does force you to go to the next place because you ran out of guys to, to buy off in the in the each of the uh, yeah we weren't sure about that but obviously yeah but he you, thought of that obviously five, so you 10, can't just 15, yeah. spam the the first one and then go straight to the end yeah that makes sense so there's more play more things mm. to play uh, in there oh why is what's up so chunky what is chunky oh you know what because i didn't set the settings back okay cats because <laughs> it was still on 4k oh what? It's not streaming 4K, is it? No, no, no. But it's the compressing settings. it, or? It's on, like, 24P. Okay. Where it should be on 30P. Oh. It's probably going to freak out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Woo! And look crazy as well. Overexposed. That's better. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh, the frame rate's really weird. Oh. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. It doesn't have to translate 24 into 60 frames a second. Oh, that's what I he was see. doing. It was on the fly. Gotcha. Nobody noticed that? Come on. <laughs> Only you <laughs> noticed that. Everybody, everybody's able to pick up on everything else. Uh, um, especially sound. They're really sensitive yes. to sound, which makes yeah. sense. Okay, next game is Invaders from Andromeda. It is an exclusive world premiere. Here is the intro. This is from Cizano. This is a 4K game. He also made Fall Pit, the Maya Cave. Uh, load it on up. We're watching the game, not you. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I hope that isn't constant. Maybe just the intro. Ah, Maybe, ah. hopefully. Uh, it is Space Invaders clone with some differences. So start the game. It's very self-explanatory. Shoot the things. Oh, good. Phew. Just that. Yeah. Oh, it is jumping a bit, isn't it? So it is. But only when you shoot or when you hit. When you hit. So. It is a work in progress. Oh my goodness. Um, in this game, there are 10 waves of invaders after it finishes. No points, no spaceships, but only shields and one spaceship. If you hit the UFO at the top of the screen, you get one shield. Uh, five are the max number of shields you can have. When the sh all the shields are gone, it's game over. The spaceship has two different firepowers. They are used in alternate levels. Uh, after level four, the barriers become movable. Uh-oh. Oh, you got one shield back and then you lost it immediately. Because they, they're low. Why am I not shooting? Because you get one bullet at a time. Oh. You should know these games I by know, now. I know, I <laughs> know. Oh, I caught one there. The Invader graphics are amazing. Yeah, they're really nice colors and really detailed. And your ship is really good as well. With the little fire coming out the bottom. Constantly uh, defensive. Oh. Defensively. about the flippy flippy craziness. It's really crazy. And dead. Okay. It's really jumpy. Oh, you got one back. Oh, dead. <laughs> yeah, very nice uh, title screen as yeah. well. And the I love the is a shame, but other than yeah. that. I love the scrolling earth at the bottom. Yeah, the invaders behave a little bit differently than space invaders as they kind of tetris themselves down as yeah. you as you shoot them yeah it's kind of neat i like that um yes it is glitching on the console yes it's not your not your feet <coughs> trying to figure out when it glitches it's when they hit the side no oh, when you're shooting random. i'm gonna not shoot let's see yeah, it's, it's, just it's glitching at certain... Yeah, I'm not sure what's making it glitch, but Suzanne will uh, 
take a look at that after. I didn't have time to um, test it on real hardware. Looked great on emulator. Obviously, I did not put it in development. <laughs> or I would have seen that on... Uh, on the emulator? On the emulator on Stella, because it would have shown mm. uh, and line count if I looked at line count. It may not manifest itself on line count, though. Treats, eh? They are tree cats. That is their there motivation. Yeah. Oh, there's some movement. Just like Space Invaders, they get faster. But they don't get lower. No. There's no threat from uh, them getting down to your level. I should take that UFO. Get some more shields. Apparently you can get up to five shields, one every time you... Oh, now the shields are gone. Or the... That's not shields, not but shields, yeah. but other shields. Yep, the, oh, the almost. blocks, yeah. There, there you we go. go. I think if you go right there, right on I and E, and as soon as he appears on the screen, and you shoot, and you don't hit something, Just a little too late. Oh, oh, a little too early. Ah. Figure out by now how to how. There we go. Now to stock multiple projectiles instead of shooting and fetching just one. I know. There we go. Five shields. One more. One more. Oh, it goes right across now. He shoots a lot. Oh, so close. Yay! Ooh, new design. It's hard to watch with the glitchiness, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry. It looks really, really good, though. Really just great colors. Just need to work, whatever, work out whatever is going on. Oh, it's treat time. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. I'll switch over to treat time. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. yum. yum, yum, yum. Oh, delayed. I said the voice. Okay. Weird. One for you. One for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Treats now, please. Treats now, please. Ding dings. Ding ding treats. Yes. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. The cats, thank you so much. Sorry? We got a lot of comments at PRG about the cats. <laughs> yeah. They love oh. the kitties. Yeah. And they love, people love feeding the kitties. Hit it, hit it. So hit it. it's really great. No, Atari, hit your bell. And Sprite and Atari love you guys too. Go. Especially the treats you give. Oh my goodness. It's more about the treats. Under you. Kitten. Some people said to, to bring the cats next time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll smuggle them across the border. Yeah, we'll put them in suitcases. They have to be quiet, though. We'll have to tell them to be quiet. Okay, sh at the border, kitties. Feed Meowie. Yeah. Oh, level three. Nice. Good kitty. Oh, I was about to say level three's not glitchy, but then it's. Try again. Try again. Atari. Hit it with your left paw. Good kitty. I think on level four it said the shields start moving. Oh. Oh. So the next level. You mean like the blocks? The blocks. At the bottom, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean they are shields, but. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good Very one. solid. Very solid. Them catnip before you stuff them in suitcases, they'll be quiet for you. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. They Good just tip. roll around happy as can be. Hit, hit it in the suitcase. I want you to hit it. Hit it. Oh, a little harder. A little harder. He says, oh, please. Yeah, little kitty. Oh. yeah, good kitty. Good kitty. Good. Atari's so soft with his paw. He is sometimes. When he hits it, just doesn't register. No. Good kitties. You had a lot last time, too. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, no, there's none in my hand. Silly. Kids. You can flip it back over whenever there we you have go. a moment. Like, uh, Floating pelvises, these guys. <laughs> yes. Oh, so glitchy. Oh, oh, it's brutal. Yeah. They're not. The shields aren't moving yet. They did 
change. The middle one's gone. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. How do I flip it back? It's transition. I'll do. Hide yourself. Now, go to safe, safe spot for a second. Yeah. a suggestion for next year that I yeah. should put together a homebrew panel. Uh, yeah. To do a PRG. I think that would be fun if the, if if PRG wants it. it yeah. Um, because I did one here at uh, Vancouver. Uh, yeah. Retro Gaming Expo. It so was very cool. They could be like, oh, you did do one, so <laughs> yeah. you're obviously qualified to do one. Yeah. Um, and then I, I can get know. some of the um, <clears throat> some of the Atari Age developers and, talk and about 2600 homebrew yeah i think that would be a really excellent panel what is what does everybody think of that mm -hmm. there won't be as many developers next year so they don't have to fight over yeah. which ones will be on the panel because there's like so many developers so, so many. these are cute little robots i like these guys so far the sprites are really nice really nicely and designed I, I agree with carl g i'm looking forward to seeing this one when the screen issues are fixed yeah it's I'm a little hard at, at certain points it gets really glitchy so yeah thank you again rendered ghosts the cats are very happy and now they've abandoned and us. they've abandoned us they're like yeah we used you and you're gone yeah we'll just we'll come back later when we're hungry again we know we don't get treats immediately they have like an internal timer it's like it's been about an hour yeah yeah they don't they don't see like the timer or the or the alarm you know like like yeah. count the countdown i should say but they, but they just have an internal treat countdown clock oh yeah they have yeah. that for food it's a, an hour before dinner oh my goodness it's always exactly an hour they Ugh. start they start meowing and yeah. me well the black cat it's like an hour. You have an hour. He just meows for an hour straight. Oh, Look lot. at these. This is great. Oh, it oh. looks so good. It doesn't get significantly harder. The bullets coming down. Oh, are they're moving now. They're moving back oh, and there forth. there we go. Now I made it to an outlet. That's all I wanted to show. Yeah. This level. That's cool. Okay. That's good. Yeah. We've shown enough. All right. Uh, that one hopefully uh, will be released soon and he'll fix the glitching. Mm -hmm. um on it oh dead mm -hmm. uh looks amazing very like, very really, nice really clean display. love the earth going going you know oh, yeah. flying by really nice it is smooth really cool. scrolling of the earth yeah mm -hmm. so on the game number three which is yep. called steps by nick sherman aka arla soft in the atari age forums this one is downloadable uh, this builds from September 29th, 2022, uh, Steps. Uh, it's a 4K game. Uh, uh, they also made Top and Tom. Mm -hmm. Steps in memory of Aurora Richmond Arlesoft. Um, it's very straightforward what okay. to do. So, wait, 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 sorry. Oh, I haven't been changing the cartridges. Did oh, somebody no. tell me? Oh, well, no. So, there's the second cartridge. Yeah. That's actual sorry official that. cartridge art. Oh, nice. Um... This There's is not. Steps. I made this. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Background. The original concept for this game was created by Steps with his entry into the Mega 65 development competition. Mm. Go for it. So, you have to get that key. Um, it's like a level in Spies in the Night. You know the level where you have to move? Yeah. So you have to be in the black areas to be safe. And you can't move till they disappear. So don't be in an area. Don't get stopped in an area where there is color. Oh my goodness, what it's are you doing? very sensitive. You gotta run. Run for it. Run! Oh, I see. Stay in the black. That's all you need to do. Stay in the black, get the key. Uh, I thought it was a clever idea and perfect for the capabilities of the Atari 2600 when I got around to making games for it. To and then you gotta get up to rescue the person. I'll I'm sure I'll get there. Uh, in the instructions. The, to his design, I've added procedurally generated levels and the requirement to pick up a key before making your way to the goal. In this case, the princess at the top of the screen. The game is written over the course of four or five days as I continue to get grips with the 2600 and gather ideas for a more substantial game. How to play. Move your player when the force field is off. Aiming for safe spaces. Collect the key to free the princess, then make your way to rescue her. Tip, you're only safe in the black areas of the screen. Don't get caught in the middle of the force field when it regenerates. 
Take your time, but not too much. The force field is steadily growing. Really? Ah! <laughs> too growing? Growing how? It gets faster? Hmm. Doesn't explain. Hold fire to move at double the speed. Oh. Hold fire? Yep. So you can move quicker. Out at the cost of one power charge. So you can only do that twice. Gotcha. Uh, you get two power charges per level, and also when a life is lost, it get refreshes. You have four lives to score as many points as possible. So you get... Uh, I don't know how you get points. You just collect things, I guess? Is there a, like a countdown where you get less points for taking time? Hmm. You have four lives to score as many points as possible. Use the game select to enable movement while a force field is active. Hmm. Use game select to enable movement while force field... Oh, easy mode. So there's two modes. One that you can move while it's active, so you can position yourself when you, when you can't. So we're playing the hard mode, okay. which is, which is about the right speed, I think, for us. The other one would be kids mode. Scoring. A bonus score is awarded depending how quickly you reach the princess. Okay, so it is timed. Whoa, one pixel off there. Unused power charges will also give bonuses. Okay, there you go. It doesn't allow you to move when the force field is on. That's correct, Metal Lunar. Uh, there is an option where you can set it to allow you to move when the force field is on. And I, I would say that's the easy mode. I would say this is regular mode. Because it's, it's easy enough. Um, there we go. So that is that is the instructions. Less safe areas over time, maybe. That's possible. It's hard to tell. But it would have to make sure that it doesn't put one... Oh, my God. Uh, where you are, or where near where you are. I'm going to try and look at an area. But it's hard to tell, because it flashes away and comes back. Hard to tell if it's been filling in any spaces. Oh, oh it's so oh, no. sensitive. Oh no. I wonder how far I can go. I'm fast mode. Does it Kings. keep track of your lives? Does it show where your lives are? Or are you down to zero? Ah, oh, I didn't make it. My turn. I'm, I was being oh, a little your fast score? and loose. Oh, that's There's an issue no too. That's okay. You have to keep track of your score before you die in the last time. What do you want? Little cat. Mow. Why are you wet? I've been playing in the water. You have you? He's a water baby. Yes, he loves playing in the water. Oh, I saw some fill in. So it fills in. Oh, oh it does. Well, it's on. Yeah, it does. Nice. I kind of like this mode because you can press in the direction before it turns off. Yeah. So you can kind of prep and yeah. go as fast as possible. See, oh my God, it's very so hard. tight. You kind of want a big open area to end yeah. in because it's not very forgiving. No, because you are about the height, <laughs> a little bit less than the height yep. of the areas that you're yeah. in. So you want it's, like a two it's vertical. Pretty sensitive. Oh! oh, your lives are there. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, dead. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. He's so cuddly right now. Oh. Are you happy you got treats? We're happy you're home. Yeah. Are you happy you're home? Okay, up to there. Oh, he's purring. Oh. Rendered ghost. This is what you did. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's, that's gonna a very be tough. happy fluffy cat. Oh, Let's not too bad. There. Ooh, ooh, just made it. It seems okay. inconsistent about giving you points while you walk. Simple concept, but challenging, yes. Oh, it is giving points while you walk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. my God. Okay, down to there. Yeah, then you can probably run, run. run to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Then I can get the key. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to go straight up. Rendered ghost. This brings me joy. I know, look at this little oh, guy. so cute. Oh, they're such good kitties. <laughs> Actually, going yeah. vertical is pretty good. It's easier to go vertical, I think. Yeah. And you can run in. I can in. get right to the princess. I'm trying to keep my, keep, keep your all runs? my bonuses. Don't you get them back again, or no? Oh my god, it's it's filling in really fast. Oh god, so it gets harder as you wait. Oh, this one's fairly open. I like this one. Won't be for long. Got the key, I think. 
Oh, oh nice there's a big spot area. there. Big open area. And I'll go up a little bit. And then go to the left. Up here. Not too far up. I think I can make it. I think you can. Good job. Thank you. Good game. Good game. I don't know if it, like, gets harder over time. Like, there's less... Is it all just random? It is randomized. But I don't know if it's randomized, like, it has less spaces each subsequent level. Have you had enough oh, of boy. I think I'm going to have to run. Oh, my goodness. This cat. Yeah. That's a good decision. I'll waste one of those. Sometimes you do. And I'll go right to the top. And then hold to the right. Nice. Yes. Doing well. Or maybe it just fills in faster. <coughs> that one's uh, half in the... Oh, boy. It's... Yeah. It's kinda... yeah. Do you have to get it when it's dark? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Oh, you can, you yeah, can get it when it's dark. Yeah, you have to get okay. it when it's dark. That can it's pose a, a challenge. It's a nice, simple, but but fun. It's yep. it's definitely challenging. Like, I like that it slowly fills out. in, too. I think that's a yeah. really good idea because it gets harder as you go. It is, it is um, red light, green light, basically. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, it's further away from you now. Mm. don't know if that's by design. It might be by design. You just have to get a sense for how how far you can go. Yeah. Once you know that, then... You can kind of pick out the it spots. It doesn't seem to be going faster. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh. Very good. The prince is always in the same exact spot. Oh, uh, they're along always the at top, the top. At least. So, <gasps> oh. Okay, nine eight six zero. Oh. oh, you must have pressed the button to go back to the hmm? title screen because hmm? it's staying there. Oh, maybe I did. Good stuff. Maybe yeah. a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> for us all. Can I remember for one one second yeah. where it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really fun game. So if you've played Spies in the Night, uh, two, or is this in the first one? Is this the only one in the first one? Can't. Can't no, 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 no. The first one is just moving across. Yeah. So this is a level in Spies of the Night too. So if yeah. you like that style, that's even out. Yeah, there was there was a demo release. Yeah. Um, if you like that style of game, this is it's really very simple. Cool. Fun I like game. it. I like it. I like the colors. I like the design. Yeah. It's very simple. Uh, so the next one, the fourth game. Where is my? There's my screen. <coughs> Is numbers game by Glenn Main. Oh. Wahoo! Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. I heard some feet. Oh, oh did you hear that? Here comes the gray cat. Did you hear that? He is the catnip cat. He's the catnip cat. Yeah. Black Sprite one. is like meh. He's like that's oh, oh, no. You you don't watch out what you bring down. There. That's right. Oh, I got the black cat meowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's this. It's this. Yeah. I'm going to flip it. Yeah. yeah. Just for a few seconds. Flip it. Who, who gave Ivory Tower Collection? Thank you. It's getting the cats high. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Who wants some of that? Let's see if, if the uh, black cat will partake this time. He he, he's been interested eating. now. Oh, yeah. He's getting in there now. Yeah. He hasn't exhibited any effects from it yet. Not really. He just kind of eats and goes, meh. I'm oh, the he got pushed out. Oh. He's like, the black cat pushed me out of the cat okay. I guess you got... Oh, he's oh, rubbing he's it. Oh, he's rubbing it. Oh, this is the first time he's shown he any is, interest. He is a teenage cat now, not a kitten. Yeah. They say it does uh, change as they age. Like, the, the kittens don't show a lot of interest in it, so... No. It's when oh. those, those teenage hormones kick in. No, oh, he's roly-poly. Let's here. bring it out. Yeah. You, you have some. There you go. Oh, poor little oh, cat. Right. <laughs> Sprite. Oh. <laughs> you gotta flip back to that. Oh, okay. So I'll talk about this game. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this game was posted uh, quite earlier in the year. Uh, March 2nd, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> He's being very cute. Um, did we play this game? You know what? I have a feeling we played this game. And I just really? didn't... Let me see. Hmm. I remember thinking we played this with 
No, no, I have no record of playing it. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Thought I did. He's hogging it now. Oh. Move it back out for Atari. What is going on, Hoggy Hog? There's lots on the floor anyway. Yeah. He's knocked it all over the place. Yeah, so Sprite he's fully apparently into it now. is very into it. He's he's of age. Yeah, he's of, he I can, don't know if he is of age. It's it's legal in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> the catnip. The catnip. <laughs> Sprite is a druggie. He's a, yeah, yeah, he's a teenager. Yeah. Naughty, naughty teenager. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Glenn Main also did Chalk and Duster, Chuck Heads, Goon Knights, Numbers Game, and Huey's Party. You can download this in the Atari Age forum, so <laughs> go for it. Numbers Game is a flick timing game requiring button precision skills. Uh, gameplay. Get the highest score by clicking the joystick over... Uh, clicking the joystick button whenever a yellow swatch is over a green one. So when it's on the green. Okay. Uh, clicking when a blue is instant game over. Navigate the lines using the joystick come down. A line changes to onto white on a successful try. Points awarded to your score. The line is now zeroed for further use. A line changes to red on a failed try. Points are deducted from your score, and the line is zeroed. To refresh a board after a round, check minimum number required at the base of the screen. Hmm. This deducts as you accrue successful tries. When zero, board refreshes and flick timing becomes a little harder. Trophies are awarded for streaks, getting successive tries correct over know. successive rounds. I understand. I Try think, it. Can you restart I think it? It's game over. I, Can you press I, one? No. So you just hit it when it's green? Just when it's over green. That's it. And but then you, move you have up to down. move up and down, yeah. But when I moved when I was on orange, it wasn't happy. See that? Okay. It sounded like something went wrong. Went to, went to blue for a second. But it says clicking on blue is game over. But I'm not clicking on blue. Hmm. Weird. Maybe you have to move when it's on the orange. No, I tried that and that seemed to do the same thing. See? Weird. Let me read it again. Get the highest score by clicking the joystick button whenever a yellow swatch is over green. So I, I hit the blue, I moved it down, it turned blue, and then I clicked it, so that did kill me. Yes. Now it's now it needs a reset. Uh, what am I missing? A line changes to white on a successful try. Points awarded to your score. The line is now zeroed from further use. Hmm. A line changes to red on his failed try. Points deducted from your score. The line is zeroed. Okay. To refresh a board. What, after what is zeroed? What is zeroed? Goes to zero. When? Um. When you get a successful one, okay, or when you do a failed one, okay, it goes to zero. To refresh a board after a round, check the minimum number required at the base of the screen. And there's like a green line, and there's a gray and a gray. Not sure what that indicates. It doesn't really say. Oh, so this oh, okay. is a refresh. Oh. Hmm. I don't see. Care. There's a dot. Yeah. So what do I do? Up, down? It just says to move up and down to go to, like your game's not over. You didn't lose anything by getting showing that I blue just showing. Very confused by it. So you have to get three more, I think, because it has three spaces. Yeah. Now one more. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah, you don't get any points deducted. It just goes blue for a second, as long as you don't click on it when it's blue. The blue swatch that appears after you move, Nostalgic says, that may be to ensure you can't score points right after moving. I guess ah, so. So you can go up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, that makes sense. Trying to figure out what those numbers mean. Like you're just gonna get zero points for that. Oh, because it moves slower. 
See, that's fast. So you get more points for the faster movement, moving ones. Less points for the slower movies. So you always want to go for the higher numbered ones. I guess so. What is the red, though? Is where you start? Say. Doesn't say what that red dot means anywhere in the instructions. We'll watch and see what. Don't go up there. I don't quite get it. Or maybe I'm doing it right. My score keeps going up, so it can't yeah, be that doing bad. It right. There's the red was beside the four, and that wasn't where you started this time. No cats. You're done. You're done for now. Done for now. I think you've mastered it. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Mm. Trophies are awarded for streaks, getting successive tries correct over successive rounds. You haven't, missed, you haven't missed one in a long time, so. And it doesn't seem to be getting much faster, is it? Is it getting faster? I don't, I don't, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like maybe I'm supposed to get the greens as fast as possible. Don't think so. I think it is getting a little faster, because that's much faster than when you started, the four. Look like you got double points for the row with the dot. Ooh, okay, we'll watch next time. Okay, don't... So we go up to the three, and it should get, give you six, and go 158. Yeah, okay, so you get double points for the dot. Which is... I don't know, I guess you need to get that one. Because at the bottom, you just need to get four to the five to go to the next level. And it makes sense you would always include the dot one. And you would always go from four, three, two, one. Because zero gets you zero points. I guess it just... You can maximize your points, but... Yeah. Yeah, it is much faster now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should ramp up a much quicker. <laughs> yeah. Is still not very fast, even on four. I mean, it's getting pretty fast on four. Yeah. Oh, it goes away, so you have to get that dot the first time. Oh, I see. Well, it's much faster now. So you go down to that the one with the dot, yeah. And then. Oop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Interesting. I don't think we need to play any more of this. No, it's uh, pretty simple. It. I was like trying to figure out, but I realize now it is about scoring, get, getting the most yes. points you can. So Before that kind of makes fast. more sense. It seemed a little too easy in the beginning. I think it should ramp up just a bit quicker. I think you're right. Yeah. Because I think the idea is that four gets so fast that you start going for the zero to get yes. to the next level. Yeah. But uh, I yeah. think that's true. Yeah. It is kind of neat. It's interesting, mm -hmm. and now I'm kind of getting the point of it. Because at the beginning, you're like, what? I'm just hitting the green square, but That's no, it makes easy. a little bit more yeah. sense now. It's it's really you're really going for. I score. think it would be a good game for kids. Um, yeah, it's a good reaction that's game. Very good reaction yeah. game. Um, and if he likes this speed, maybe add an extra level, like with the switches. Make, make a hard level. Make a yeah. hard level. Yeah. yeah. So it's like doubling up the speed almost to double the pace, <clears> and then you would get yeah. up a lot faster. Yeah. I think it would be more interesting yeah. if the swatch changed lines to a lower point value after some time passes. Oh, like you take too long and it goes, doop, like the four goes to a three, yeah. three goes to two. Or that it goes would be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. So it's it's scrolling through. Mm. It's flashing and scrolling yeah. through because the top would like be so fast. It? You have to catch the top for the four and then it would slow down as it goes down. So something like that, where yeah. as it speeds up, it gets really hard to hit that that first for the four points, right? Or something like that, because controlling it up and down, it's not that hard, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Moving like up. I screwed up on the one because I was just. But moving off up and time, down but... isn't part of the game. It's just. Well, you have to. You're just picking. It's, yeah, but you're not... always gonna go. F you're always gonna go for four, three, two, and one. Well, you want to go for the until double four first. gets too hard. Double first, then four, three, two. One. Yeah. And then it gets too hard, and then yeah. you go zero, one, two, three. Yeah. Or the dot. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting yeah. game. Or randomize which rows are fast and slow. Yeah, that would be an interesting oh, way of doing yes. it. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yep. 
Neat. I thought I'd include Neat. it because I, I always like including games that have something different to them. Yeah, it is different. Um, I like and it. I've never seen a I game like, like this where where it's like speed and you have to catch it on the right timing. Yeah. So uh, I usually try and include those games when I see them where it's like, okay, this is offering mm -hmm. something different. It's yeah. not just a shooter or a platformer or something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a game where I've never seen that style of uh, gameplay before. Cats are all high. And mellow. Mm. Yeah, they are mellow now. Look at those eyes. Look at those Ready. little... Uh, <laughs> just staring into the Drugged out little kitten eyes over there. <laughs> oh. Okay, the last game of the night is from Carl G. All right. It's called Save the Dinos. Ooh, cool. Uh, let me get the cartridge art up. Nice. There we go. Uh, I'm particularly proud of this cartridge art. I How found this free picture okay. of an asteroid coming down to Earth okay. and some cartoon dinosaurs. Very nice. And um, actually included on the artwork, if people look in the forums, it's a little bit bigger there. Yeah. Uh, the DART, you know, the DART <laughs> mission okay. to push asteroids away from the Earth. Oh, That's geez. what this game is all about. Okay. Um, so Excuse this me. was uh, released on September 30th. It's an 8K game. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl G has done 2,600 words. Cannons, Cosmic Cabby, 7,800. Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, Penalt, RC Sumo Bots, Raindrops, mm -hmm. Robot Tag, Save the Dinos, Space Debris, Space Venture, and Witch's Tower. Save the Dinos, you can load it up, is my tribute to NASA's recent DART mission. Look Very at that cool. dinosaur. Uh, it was hastily coded and only lightly tested. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Uh, but is a good proof of the game concept. I may or may not develop it further at some point. He always says that. Yeah. He's like, here's a fun game. I may not finish it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, premise. You are a chronozoologist. Mm. I don't know what that is. Chronozoologist. A zoologist uh, study of at animals. time and animals. I'm guessing. Um, I'm not good at this. It's thing. related to um, placing dinosaurs in time. <laughs> in, in, yeah, in time. Like, how old is this okay, dinosaur? You have to look that up now. But go ahead. Yeah, keep going. Can somebody look that up? <laughs> time, time traveling, traveling zoologist. Yeah, time traveling zoologist. Nice. Sure. Who studies development of animal life throughout time in all manners of alien worlds. I, mm. Maybe he made this up. Uh, your current task <laughs> is to learn how the dinosaurs of planet Earth would have continued to evolve had they not been wiped out by a stray oh. asteroid. Your team has developed the three dinosaur asteroid rerouting tactical system. Uh, darts. Uh, probe to divert the asteroid before it can hit Earth. However, the Time Preservation Society has heard of your plans uh -oh. and is sending more asteroids to Earth so oh, you don't no. alter the time space continuum oh, no. your team is working as fast as it can to create more probes to divert these asteroids as well use the well and save the dinosaurs gameplay instructions <sighs> press the joystick fire button to launch a probe hmm. press up to thrust left to right to change the direction of the probe steer the probe to an intercept course with the incoming asteroid mm. at an angle that will change its velocity in such a way as to miss earth if you don't get a good enough hit with the first probe uh -oh. you, can, you may launch another one to try again if you're quick enough uh one point and one new probe is gained with every successful asteroid deflection. For every 10 asteroids deflected, you gain one additional probe from your reserves. The game ends when you run out of probes to launch or when one of the asteroids hits the Earth. Mm. So press the button. Oh, it's... Thrust game. So you want to get lots of speed and divert the asteroids. Now, it didn't explain it in the... Oh. You might be wasting that one. Really? Oh! Oh, don't hit the Earth with you. Ah! <laughs> That's the opposite of what you want to do. Uh, and it hits the Earth anyway. Oh, just missed it. You got one point. <laughs> Is that good enough? So the angles matter. Okay. And the planet also has a gravitational pull still. So you want to divert it. That one's going to miss it anyway. I only get one more. One per uh, asteroid. So if you use two on one asteroid, gotcha. Pretty much screwed. Uh, I see. Studying animals over time. I made it up. It Carl sounds G extremely plausible. Carl it G is. <laughs> I was like, somebody looked that up. It almost sounds like placing animals in, in order in, of in order in time of evolution and extinction. No, nope, that two got... points. No, no, I get another <laughs> turn. 
<laughs> Don't nope, that's do your that. high score. Don't that's do your that. high score. Mm. Oh boy. It's not a good start using two on the first one. Ah <laughs> I hate first games. Have I mentioned that before? <laughs> it's not our forte. It's not my forte. No, just crank it. The faster you thrust, the more impact it's going to oh, do. Oh, I see. I just was going for it. I was trying to get it at an angle where it would really go off the screen. Yeah, so you want, I guess, as much horizontal movement yeah, as that's possible. That's what I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I... Chelsea Donnie Mao says, Gotta hit the rock as quick and as hard as you can. So you don't have to worry about fuel from your uh, dart. Oops, just have to worry about... Good. That one's pretty good. So... Now the high score is insane. I bet it is. Somebody... No, it's gonna hit the earth. No, get, no, no, get, it's, get, good. Get, get, it's good. Get, get. Oh, oh just... just. Oh, now you got three. Nice. Oh yeah, because you have to use one. I think I need another one. Yeah. Oh. And you can't leave it too late because. Who posted the super crazy high score? Let's see. 17, 72 is the high score. And that's by Defatari from Kansas. And Carl G says, awesome, you're probably the world record holder for this game. <laughs> With every 10 points, the downward velocity of the asteroids increases a little bit. So at some point, likely become impossible to deflect the asteroid. I'm not sure what point that is though since I'm not good enough to, at the game to find out. I always find that fascinating when the developer... Oh, that one was fine. It looked fine. <laughs> when the developer is not great at their own game. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm not good. People are kicking my ass at my own game. But, hey. Some people are better at game, uh, certain types of games than others. Ooh, I think you're going to be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. You have no choice anyway. You don't have any darts. Oh, no. You're just oh, going to clear. I think I'm just going to clear it. Oh, by a pixel. It's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, if we save the dinosaurs, what will happen to us? Yeah, Carl exactly. Says, That's why humans are likely opposed to the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the instructions, Carl's like, yeah, they kept sending another asteroid, another asteroid to keep the uh, keep the timeline. I think that would be fine. As long as it pushes it that way. Yeah. It's kind of slow. So there's lots of different um, physics going on in this game. Get over there. Get. There's the initial uh, velocity of the asteroid. There's the gravitational pull of the Earth which I'm guessing is always towards the center yeah. of the screen. Yeah. Um, and then there's the uh, velocity on impact and angle of the dart mm. as it hits the asteroid. So that's really, really neat. Great job, Carl, on all that, uh, all those different things. And I love the lines that you put mm -hmm. in on of the earth. It really gives a nice kind of texture to the earth. Mm -hmm. It's like you're you're at uh, well Antarctica I guess it would be because it's green but uh, Pangea. Like Pangea? Oh yes, I guess. It's Pangea. Is it Pangea? Yeah, because right, there's just sense. there's just one big mega. Oh, I got an extra. Continent. I got an extra one. Oh, at you some did point. at ten. At ten, you get the next one. Nice. I like the star field in the green and blue for the planets. Simple but effective. Nostalgic says yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Girl Tree says the gravity's always down. Okay. So straight That's down. enough anyway. Because I mean the Earth goes. Yeah, you're fine. Just barely. Oh, yeah. So the so it's actually best to hit it as much of an angle to the right yeah, as possible because I agree. he says there is no um, um, gravitational Slowing pull down to the right and left. It's just straight down. Right and left. So as yeah. long as you hit it hard enough on the right, so you want as much of a right angle as possible. So if you turn and then give it a bit more. Yeah. Uh, velocity just before impact, it will. It'll push it even it'll more. It'll push it even That's more. That's a little awkward, but yes. 
So do it an angle, then turn, and then give it another To nudge. be honest, the exact, just hitting a perfect angle and hitting it right away seems to be doing a pretty good job. Just start and vroom, but so Carl, at some point it probably won't work. So Carl G, yeah. if up in an angle, is there the same amount of horizontal thrust as if you were completely 90 degrees i'm guessing you see this looks like oh don't stop yep go 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 you have more yeah I it may not be enough, enough. You, you weren't pushing it all the time oh that might be enough mm, oh. it's okay you oh. deserve a turn anyway oh. Oh. there we go oh, all 14. right there you go Yeah, you yeah. do have a time factor as well. You kind of want to just go vroom, straight into it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it actually went up for a second. It did. I'd love to see that asteroid spin, spin. slowly oh. after it's hit. Yeah, this is a Tumble. 4K game, so yeah. it probably wouldn't have room for... Impact animation. Yes. yes. James. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Like, is it worth turning? I don't think so, because I turn, but then you lose thrust. If you just point and f just go max no. thrust, see? Yeah. You kind of need to go max thrust. There's less yeah. acceleration, X and Y at an angle, but you get up to max. If you get up to max speed, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter, yeah. Yeah. An impact trail. <gasps> yeah, that's good. It's cute. So sometimes I like it. You, so I sometimes like it you get some time Not to go um, horizontal. Yeah, asteroids, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> on theme. On theme. Very on theme. <laughs> the scientific realism would be de demand a big cloud of dust and particles yes. streaming off the rock after impact, but that may be too much to ask for. Not yeah. really, because the ship is gone, so you could do a little. Or movie realism with a gigantic fiery explosion, <laughs> which is. Ah! <laughs> uh -oh. I'm done. Might as well waste my last rocket. Oh. Two. That was your high score in the. That was your score in the first, first yeah. round. Yowza. <laughs> that was terrible. A co-op mode in which you have two players each launch a rocket would be interesting. Chinos are all dead, but yeah. I saved humanity. Yes. <laughs> oh, by, no. By dying. <laughs> co-op mode in which you have two players launch a rocket require both to hit the asteroid um, successfully and not in opposite directions. Hmm. That would be interesting. Too many sprites on the screen, though. You, one would have to be, like, a little... Oh, come on. Uh, um... Like a missile, uh, using the missile, one would have to be using the sprite because the asteroid is already one of the sprites. Are, are you happy the dinos aren't around? I think so. Yeah. I mean, like, let's face it, the cats would still evolve and rule, rule the earth. They would. They would just be house dino cats. So. <laughs> cats yeah. for dinosaurs? Cats for dinosaurs. They're like, you guys need some uh, rotten ex extermination, right? Yeah. But they'd be upset that there wouldn't be any birds. Flappy birds. They'd, they'd be pterodactyls, but there wouldn't be True. any evolved dinosaurs. Well, there might still be they evolved be. dinosaurs because they had feathers. Yeah, they dinosaur evolved. feathers. Yeah. So. They'd be attacking. Big saber toothed kittens. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Hi. I don't know how that guy got that score. Hey, oh, you just keep at it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What was the score yet? Uh, 60. Oof. That's a lot. 72. That's a lot. 72. It's a lot of asteroids. So I'm sure at some point you have to use two, mm. and they probably just ran out. I get it. Actually, they still had one left over showing on their screen on their high score. Yeah. Well, one thing is to launch as soon as possible. Oh, Mike Soul is saying, I meant asteroid Earth impact animation, so when it actually oh. hits the Earth, yeah, that would oh, be Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah. A big plume of dust and rock. And a very sad dinosaur at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
but oh. there's only so much room. That's true. What's <laughs> this one again? Hi. Uh, 8K. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's any room left. Carl G may or may not continue making this game. Continuing on with it. I mean, it's perfect. There's oh, nothing no, it's wrong a perfect the game. game. The, game's, the game's great. You know us. We all like to throw in our two cents. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, you could do this and you could do that. Yeah. And the developers are like, no. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Hi. Oh, there's plenty of Hi. room. Had to go to AK for the title screen. Oh. oh okay. Kitten. Would you be a big saber tooth cat? Yeah. I oh think so. yeah. Eating all the tiny dinosaurs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they're ti like they're lizards. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's licky. Can you hear him purr and lick? Oh my goodness, cat. So still, oh, it does. It does explode when it hits the yeah. the asteroid. So yeah. it has that. Yeah. Oh no, it's great. But Carl like a, G, good job. Like a, <laughs> A yeah. Big, no. When when it hits when it hits the earth. When it like hits a, the earth, yeah. Or just put the shake that. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, that yeah, that would space be good. In, in, uh, invaders game has. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> then the earth moves a bit <laughs> downward. Yeah. Purr, purr, purr. Yeah. So did you have fun at PRGE? I did. Like well, while I was filming, Tanya was um, talking with everybody. Well, I was talking to people. Oh, oh no! no. You've got have to another. Watch another one. Get yeah. off the screen! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm so 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 dead. Oh no! Damn it! Twelve. Oh, I'll give it one more. Yeah, go. it was fun. It was fun. There were a lot of people around. So yeah, some of the time I was filming and and watching you film. Sometimes I was chatting with everyone at the Guitar Age booth and. Yeah. Um, Feels a magic-y. It does I have a bit of that. Field, yeah, yeah. yeah um, people are coming up to I hear, like, when I'm doing the editing, I could hear people <laughs> saying, talking. Oh, I love your screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't meet those people. Yeah, you. you, so you I met a few extra people along the way because you were chatting away. And, uh, and yeah, there are a few people who came up to me while, while I was, you know, making sure the camera wasn't suddenly turning off. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, everything was in focus, thank goodness. Some were a little overexposed. Yeah. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah. Some were a little un, uh, overexposed. Over. But, um, ooh. Um, but I was able to rescue all the footage. It was it was good enough. It didn't look overexposed on the yeah. um, viewfinder. No. But um, it, uh, it was just barely. There's only some um Is lost. it easier to darken it if it's overexposed, or do you lose a lot of detail? It's all it it's, how bad it's it is. all about if it like gets into the realm of non information. Okay, yeah. Um I didn't record in raw format, which gives you a lot more latitude. Yeah. With with the uh, But it takes exposure. up a lot more space, right? Yeah. A lot more space. Yeah. And there was like, you know, whatever how seven many? hours of four K footage. Um at a high bit rate. Um but there was it was enough information in the footage that I I mean it was able to to make it look good. quite decent. Good, yeah. good. Proud Steps says, Darn, missed it live when you were playing Steps. I was active in the community when Steps made the original for the Mega 65. Oh. Yeah, yep, Steps is pretty cool. It's it's a really fun game. It is a really fun game. And uh, I like the premise. Mm -hmm. And that premise has made it into other games yeah. as well. Go, go. Oh, God. Oh, oh my god. Five. <laughs> okay, you get one more go. One more go? Okay. Yeah. What else? What terrible. what were your highlights from the uh Oh my god. Well all I did was interviews. So uh know. just meeting everyone. Meeting all the people that I've never met before. Yeah. Um especially the people uh from like overseas. Oh, who came, yeah. Like which was Muddy amazing. Funster, Dion, Lewis Muddy Hill. Funster, Lewis Hill. Yep. I mean, they came from far away. Uh, M.K. Smith from Australia, like really far away. He's he was talking about his flight it was twenty one hours Ugh. of flying. Like I I've I've flown to Australia as well. It's surreal. It's so long. On a yeah, plane. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know what day it well, is because the sun goes up and down think constantly. About, think about <laughs> how much of the Earth you're covering. Like oh. it's insane. Uh, the most amount you pr pretty much can without 
going the wrong way around the earth. It's a lot of distance. Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But, yeah, quite a few people coming from far away, which is super cool. So, yeah. Yeah. And, of course, you know, lots of people who are a little bit more local, but a lot of people yep. travel long distances even within in the Some U.S. Some people are like, oh, yeah, I live in Portland. <laughs> I'm like, lucky you. Yeah. And we're very close, so... So we're pretty lucky. We're f we're five yeah. and a half hours away drive, so thank goodness. Yeah. I mean, I would still drive even if it was a bit longer. I don't know how long. I don't know what my limit would be. We'd probably go every yeah. second year or something if it was, like, really far. We would like to go to some other conventions. Yeah, I know there's one in Austin. That would be a And cool I've always one. wanted to go to Austin, yeah. so I think that would be fun. That would be a good one. I know there's some on the East Coast, but I don't know too much about the East Coast yeah. ones. Maybe some one that's near New York that we could kind oh, of go love. to New York and yeah. then go to Just anywhere one. in that kind of north. Yeah, northeast area. Yeah. There's some in Florida as well. Oh, Florida. Yeah. Florida's always oh. a good time. Good night. Good night, Daryl. Good night, Daryl. Have a good evening. Thanks for hanging out. I vote for small dinosaurs flying away when the asteroid hits oh the Earth. Oh my god, that would be so adorable. <laughs> little spinning dinosaur. Oh no! Yes, you gotta do that. <laughs> Carl, you gotta no, do that. No, that's so sad. Or a tiny dinosaur oh. that gets bigger and on the screen and spinning. So my oh nephew's my favorite game is Ark, which is like right. one where you're on the earth, I think, and there's dinosaurs and you like tame them and ride them and put right. armor on them and stuff. But that's another game that you played, not Ark, but what's that other one? Uh, where there's robotic dinosaurs. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. I, I mean, that's sort of a little different because they're is. like mechanical, but... Yeah, um, they're not really dinosaurs. Why uh, they picked that design really is the games. ultimate design of yeah. robots i don't know yeah and the escaping dinos could be the sequel dinos in space the dinos in space yes that's perfect they have to find an asteroid to settle on <laughs> <That's right. laughs> land them on the asteroids they're holding their breath <laughs> they're holding their breath you have so much time to thrust them over to the to the asteroid <laughs> wiggling their tails oh. or something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> dinos oh. in space yep yeah. Everything in space is better. Um, <laughs> yeah, just meeting all the people was yeah. fun. Uh, you had some keychains that you were giving I out did. that you made. Um, had ZPH on them, had yeah. joysticks, had little symbols. We kind of some held on to magical, them. magical, wonderful symbol Ooh, that, that we close. can't mention. <laughs> a little controller. A little um, controller. A little controller. Yep. Yeah, I made a bunch of them, for, especially for the people who yeah, were right. kind of fans of the show that we hadn't met before. And... There's an empty keychain. Oh, Did yeah. Did you bring an extra one? Uh, no, I think I just had an extra oh. keychain part. Um, so I just I had a bunch that I had made from other projects when I had extra resin. And I just thought, oh, I'll just bring them and give them away to people when they... And the... Um, oh, it's so awesome. The tags, the... Um, what would this be called? Just the your badge. Thing, badge on the lanyards. Yeah. The badges were really cool. Awesome. And the you exhibitor could... ones were the Blue Ghosts. Yes. Which I was like, oh, I oh, want, I want an a exhibitor Blue one. Yeah. We'll get an exhibitor next time. <laughs> we'll I'm... have our own exhibit. No. no. <laughs> when Actually, you sell out all of your, all, you know, you, you decide to sell your whole game collection, we'll get a booth. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sure. No. You can sell your, 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 your keychains. <laughs> we'll get a booth for that. Good. See, we could, we could set up a booth, broadcast from it, and you can sell your keychains as well, so we could justify getting the booth. Yeah, I'd and have I could to sell, sell some a of my stuff. lot of keychains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coasters. Coasters, yes. The coasters. Yeah. I think those would go Unlicensed well. coasters. Just random <laughs> Video controllers. Game yeah. yeah, controllers, yeah. <sighs> Kicking my ass. Is your high score? So far? 14? I think I did better than did this, you? but I'm yeah. not sure. I was not keeping track. And Al made new Atari age. Yeah, very nice. Um, oh, you're, you're fine. Tags, black and uh, black and blue. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, so over the next couple days, I'll be releasing uh, all the interviews. And also I have footage of Al unboxing his 
uh, 7800. Mm -hmm. It's custom made 7800 as well. Um, mm. So can I make it? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't going to make it. No. No. Oh, the stars kind of shift there. Uh oh. Bug. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die. Oh, that one's going to make it. No problem. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of doing them all at once because I've done the coloring. Mm. Then I'll just do all the audio because it all kind of is the same. Um, so I had a microphone on and a microphone uh, on the perfect on the interview e. Mm. Um, so I'll probably <coughs> did the audio work out well? Did you listen to it at all? Some of it's a bit sketchy, but I think yeah. it's uh, most of it's fine. Um, comparing it to the camera audio, which is like oh. chaotic well, everything. because it's so noisy. You've got the arcade going on. you got oh people talking in the background and video yeah. games playing at the booth. And yeah, it so was pretty... the microphones were um, right. The lapel microphones, So they're right on the person. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they sounded good. Plus, you have the balance of the atmosphere. Yeah. The PRG in the background, which is what you want. Because yeah. it's, it's there. Oh, yeah. You don't want silence. You can hear the chaos of everything that's happening. Uh, yeah. So I have to cut it back and forth, probably. Oh, so okay. it's just one noise. Because you don't want the noise of my microphone picking to up both. everything. Yeah. So I'll just taper it off and then come back when it's, when it's my turn. I think the closer the asteroid is to the center of the Earth, the harder yeah, it is. Yeah, because there, that one I kind of went straight into it, but it was just not quite enough. I think this gonna is going to be fine. Yeah. yeah. You're going to beat the world record? Seventy-two. <laughs> we'll be here for a while. <laughs> True. And do they start off with more velocity? As time goes some, on? Some do and some don't. It seems to yeah. depend on the asteroids. Some of them ha come in at more of an angle. Says it's some... This the downward works. velocity yeah, increases a little bit over time. Oh yeah, they're starting much faster. That just means you have less time to divert. Yeah. Um, because the horizontal... You have to, you have to hit much. it fast. Yeah, you have to just do it immediately. Like, yeah. Like prime your... Can you prime one? Before that, yeah, you can prime it. Oh, see, that's interesting. Good to know. But you don't know which direction. But you can at least get it going. Yeah. And and like just before it goes off the screen, get it ready. I did not hear about that world record. Oh, it's just in the forums. Oh, it's going forward. It starts <gasps> to go forward right away. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, it fell back. It just. Oh, it has gravity on the ship too. Very subtle, mm. Carl G. Because <laughs> you wouldn't normally know that yeah. unless you just let it sit there. So don't do it too early. Because you're then you're fighting gravity. Yeah, no. And you're no. wasting. I usually wait until Time. it shows up. Because you want to maximize the point at when you hit it. You want the the fastest speed too. Fastest so. speed. Yeah. Nothing stopping you from pre-launching. <laughs> nope, except gravity of the Earth. I'm surprised you put that in there. This is the a... one that comes comes in really steep. Mm. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Yep. 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 Always end up catching it right on the edge. Yeah, that one's okay. Yeah, they're coming in steep now. It seems steep that was i had to make a note of everybody's name oh that, that, <laughs> that was going to be there that yeah. i was interviewing and i yeah. just over and over my brain because i'm just terrible with names and some of the developers i've interviewed before and i've seen them yeah you know them but i've you... had them on the stream and i know them but you know when you're gonna talk to like 20 people oh I, you're yeah. like oh my god okay. <laughs> All these people, okay. Yeah. Some of them, I've like John Shampo. I've talked to a billion times. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, it's John. Yeah. And we've gone out for dinner before in yeah. previous PRGEs. Yeah. And some people I know because I've known them for a very long time. Um, but people that I've never met in person before, yeah, that's that's really difficult. Well, that's what's exciting too about seeing people. You're like, oh yeah, I know that yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. it's much easier for them to come up to me. Yeah. And well, they know us. So. Yeah. And and thank God for for these. Oh my God. Yeah. Very With very people's helpful. People's names on them. So helpful. 
kicking ass. Kicking ass. Don't, don't, don't jinx me. <laughs> Look at him. You haven't even wasted a ship. Oh, you, you did one, right? I did do you, one twice, twice because I hit it and I'm like, oh, it's not going to quite and, make and it. And it wasn't going to make it either. Oh, that one's pretty close to This guy's funny. You hit him in the butt because he kind of looks like a face. <laughs> and then he kind of shifts looks like to the smurf. left a fair amount. He's got a hat. Yeah. Two little feet, little arms. Yeah. I'm seeing things in them now. <laughs> yeah. What shapes. is that called? Uh, when you see... Are you wasting time not thrusting? No! <gasps> launch, launch, launch. You're going to die now. Oh, no. You might have to use two. No, you're dead. Oh, no. Oh, 33. That's really Pretty good. good. Leprechaun. leprechaun yeah it is a bit of a leprechaun snoopy, <laughs> snoopy. yeah yeah good very good Good score good score yeah. the score goes into ten thousands that'll take months this press <laughs> well someone's gonna do it someone is gonna do it no I, carl, I, carl g says it's impossible after really? a point like you just can't launch like you'll just run out of ships gotcha and launch. you have to hit it perfectly i'm sure to yeah, get it to work yeah. you would I think very good, Carl happy. G. Very happy um, with 33. Like, there's nothing to do more no. in this. Just, no. Just fanciness, I guess, yeah. to add to no, it. No, I, I think it's great. It's really great as great is. Really great thrust-based game, I'm yep. sure. <laughs> Tom, Thomas Jentsch is enjoying this game. He loves yep. thrust games. Yep. Um, really good set of games today. Uh, Pantheon 2, another great... Um, uh, kind of linear RPG. Really enjoyed that. Game. Yeah. Yeah, really, really fun. Really, so really good. So really, all that needs to be done on that one is just, uh, there's a bit of jitter. Okay, That's yeah. That's about it. Which is, might be intentional, but it, no, it no, hits it when it's in the room, but uh, I, it wasn't unplayable or anything with the jitter, but... Uh, and on the selection screen, uh, on the title screen, using the button to oh, start yeah. instead of having to that press the reset. That would be preferable, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um... <laughs> Asteroid physics look really good to me. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas would nitpick my physics. I think. <laughs> yeah, he'd look at the code and go, no. Oh, <laughs> you're only going to two decimal points in your physics. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, invaders from Andromeda. A really nice twist on Space Invaders. I, the graphics are looks beautiful. Good. Just needs to deal with the glitching that uh, that's the happening, the shaking. Yeah, that's, and, um, and I'm sure they'll fix, Susanna will fix it before he posts it. Yeah. Um, yeah, really nice scrolling earth on that one. Oh, really nice. Yeah, yeah. that was really well done. Really great. Yeah. Uh, steps, fun, simple game. Yeah. Where you move, where there's nothing flashing. Yeah. Um, really great game. Yeah. Uh, numbers game. Very simplistic game. Yeah. Uh, Took me a second to figure out the point, but yeah. I, but I get it. Yeah, it's definitely a points based game. Needs so. a little bit more information in the instructions, I think, because they didn't talk about the what strategy. The dot, maybe yeah. The strategy. The strategy for the yeah. game, but like other maybe than that, some tips cool. tips for the strategy yeah. guide. Yeah. yeah. And save the dinos. Beautiful entry Looks from great, Carl, Carl G. G. <laughs> uh, very challenging. Yeah. Game. Uh, fun physics. Mm -hmm. Fun premise mm -hmm. as well. Yep, good crop of games. Yeah, so very you good. You can download Save the Dinos in the Atari Age forum right now if you'd like, um, as well as Numbers Game and Steps. Uh, I'm sure Invaders from Andromeda will be posted very shortly, yeah. and Pantheon as soon as the bugs are fixed, because I'm yeah. sure they'll want to fix those those things as mm -hmm. soon as they see um, the show. Um, I'm not sure where they are, because they weren't in the chat, so they're That's probably okay. too late for them yep. uh, to stay up, but they'll see it when it's posted. Uh, later on so thank you for watching yeah thank you for joining us and uh the interviews will be posted on youtube mm -hmm. as i get them done mm -hmm. um i could pretty much guaranteed i'll have one done tomorrow mm -hmm. i'm posted tomorrow i'll concentrate on one and make sure i get that done i have to do some some simple graphics like a little intro and their name at the bottom nice and yeah just really simple oh that'll be fun because the the interview is the whole point of it Cat butt. So thanks for <laughs> watching, Cat Butt. Cat Butt, hi. Um, Chalcedony Mao, yes. Rendered Ghost, Carl G. Thank you for making mm -hmm. that awesome game. Uh, Dan AVC, Prow 7, Azure 6502, Charles Whelan, Spiceware, Caffman 2D, uh, Rendered Ghost, Mike Soul, Nostalgic 26, Packrat VG. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan AVC, Ivory Tower Collections. 
Metal Lunar 7. Who else? Who <laughs> else? RC70, I think I said. Who else? Vitoko. Looking for new names. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you, Nostalgic. And uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, watching mm -hmm. and listening. And uh, to all the people I met at PRGE, yep. great meeting you all. Yes. And looking forward to next year already. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and actually getting into the arcade and oh, playing I know. some games. Watching and some talks. Watching some and talks. Yeah. yeah. Next year will be a little bit more calm and no rushing back on Sundays. So. That's right. We'll bring the yeah. cats. Oh, will they let you no, across the border? I don't think no, they will. No, you have to do a lot of paperwork. No. <laughs> bring cats and dogs and have to make sure they have all their shots. And, oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a, yeah. lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, so we will see you on Friday. It's Darcy's week. Yes. So we'll see if Darcy yes. will come back. Yeah. I think it's Darcy's week. Um, oh, actually, let's take a look before <laughs> and see what's coming up. Yeah. Um, before we run away. Uh, there we go. Um, Whenever you go on vacation, you get all mixed up. Yeah, as you far do. As what week it is. Um, so... On the 21st, which is Friday, it is a noon show. Okay. Um, so it is an early show. I only have one Atari 8-bit game scheduled. That may change to a 7800 day. Okay. Uh, if I have the SGM, it might be a ColecoVision special. Oh, nice. Maybe. Yes. But I, it hasn't shown up yet. Mm -hmm. But I need to check the mail. We haven't checked the mail. Um... So we'll see if that shows up, and they'll be playing uh, Moon Cresta, which mm -hmm. is a brand new release. I think it might be a world exclusive. I'll have to check. Uh, if it's been put out, a Z80 day. I don't have. Oh, a Z80 in terms of the chip. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, there's a 7800 stuff. There's a ho Halloween, Halloween homebrew special. Um, we'll probably play Dracula's Curse again because that's been Ooh, updated and yep. you haven't played that so okay. we can play that I'm going to try and probably do an Atari 8-bit <laughs> Halloween because I've never really concentrated on that I, Okay. there's a lot more like games the to theme select on the from because okay. I know all the homebrew for 7800 and 2600 so try something a little and new. I think I've exhausted that yeah. and we've also done doubles sometimes Yeah. so I'll have to put a call out in the Atari 8-bit forums to say hey any hey creepy halloween spooky theme. halloween kind of stuff that nice. i can play that you guys know yep um november 1st abbuc 2022 entries that's probably going to be a two day special um and then atari age day 2022 fall edition it's gonna be two days two don't know days. when that lands will it be two weekends or like saturday sunday kind oh, of it's thing. gonna be saturday sunday. okay it's gonna be a full weekend then because i want to do it all at once okay fair enough because they'll fair be enough. released on the same day okay for people to buy in the store on okay. the atari age store so i want to do it like all at once okay uh yeah it'll be a weekend it'll, it'll be, be a weekend a lot <laughs> it'll be a lot that's okay yeah it'll uh, be fun it's always fun atari age day is always a good time is uh some exclusives coming up yeah. oh john shampoo said elevator agent before the end of the year excellent sorry so december 31st <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see when it gets it done uh champ game secret homebrew that's probably going to be pushed to next year because oh, he's going to be see. finishing up elevator agent okay and also um what's the car racing one where it's the full screen animated one turbo turbo he's gonna be working on turbo as nice. well finishing that up um probably sooner than later the uno plus cart special mm -hmm. i think um people working on that stuff they've almost got something that they want to show off i have to answer them back so if you're watching i will get back to you we've <laughs> just been away don't bite um a live interview with old style nice uh, with the Mario Brothers nice. exclusive final build. I think that's probably pretty close. And hopefully some other games that we can d uh, show off. And a developer spotlight on Chris Walton. I'll nice. have to see where he is with uh, Xevious or Boom. Okay. And um, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. We interviewed uh, Chris Walton at, at PRGE. PRGE. Yes, that's right. Yep. Uh, Atari Lynx uh, special that we'll be doing. 
Uh, we interviewed Songbird, a distributor of uh, Lynx Games mm -hmm. at PRGE, so we'll probably be playing some of their games. I I'm excited oh, for that. Yeah. Uh, Micro Invaders, we played it there yes. at their booth. It's awesome, yeah. right up our alley. Yeah. So definitely be playing that on the show yeah. when we do the Lynx special, for sure. Um, look at all of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think we're losing shows. all the people. They're all leaving. Oh, so. that's fine. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Uh, we're wrapping There's up. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. With, with uncertain dates, right? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Lots of uncertain dates. So <laughs> we're done for tonight. Yes. We have a special long show. To, yeah. Well, That's not that bad. Two I and a half hours. Nothing seems as long as the Atari when we were going through all the Atari games. Oh, so. my God. Yeah. How many <laughs> so hours was that? Really many. Yes. Many, many hours. Yes, it was. It was like 30 hours yeah. or something. 40 but hours. But those single shows were quite long, so. Yeah. yeah. So okay. much stuff. Yep, lots yeah. of stuff coming up. So thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on Friday mm -hmm. early show with Darcy, if he's here, or Tanya or me. later. Or me, Yeah. Um, so we'll see you then. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with Bye. us. Good, Good night. night.